Welcome to the scurvy seas. Oh, that's what we're doing. Oh, that. I've never heard of it before. Forgot we were doing that. You haven't heard of the scurvy seas? Mm -mm. Well, scurvy seas is a D and D show we do here every Thursday at 8 p.m. EST, and it features. Some of your favorite people, like us. Every every Thursday. Every Thursday. Without Look. fail. Every, <laughs> Without Thursday. Every, every Thursday. Every mm. Thursday. Yup. Yep. Mm -hmm. In fact, the whole cast is feeling up to it. That. Minus minus Kayla. In fact, all of the happy. all the dice and fire. Sometimes you're not here. I was about to say, <laughs> look, I fell off for two weeks. Expected everyone else to step up. No. Scurvy C's still best attendance record out here. All right. All right. Next time Zylo backs down, I'm I'm DMing Scurvy C's. <laughs> Boom. Well, I literally wasn't around. I wasn't here. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't here wasn't either. Here. I hate no, no. We were we were here. Oh yeah, I you did got, get home at like you got seven home or eight. At, yeah, you, you got literally had time. just you were so in the dead door. tired. Because I asked you literally at the airport, and I was like, "Are we doing D and D tonight?" <laughs> It's like, That's cool. really technically, probably The only shouldn't. thing would be, Zylo, mm -hmm. if I did do that and I DM'd it, you'd have to watch it if you DM the next one after that. <laughs> oh, to know oh. what happened. <laughs> I'd be no, honestly, okay. like, ever since... Fair, I, I'm memeing about Dyson Fire shows, but we all know Origins of Olympus has just released a new season, and we all know all of the wonderful people on that show love to go all out, especially at the beginning of a launch of a new season. Everybody's schedules have been crazy. Terrible so excuse. can I just say, perfect per, from my perspective, I was not surprised when I saw a lot of Dyson Fire shows being canceled in the last week or two. But the hopefully, that's like things was crazy, very hectic. I've calmed down. I've only put out five episodes this week, okay? I don't know. Dude, I, I know you, Zylo, and I saw and you it. Don't like already, you don't already have, like, at least ten more. <laughs> and it's three more at this point. I'll can, have I you tell them I what, what, can I please <laughs> tell them what you told me earlier? I've done three episodes, which is actually pretty good for me. And I said, oh, I'm probably two. not releasing my fourth until Sunday. Zylo goes, why so long yeah, in between episodes? Like three days, or not even three, two days. When is you a said long that, time. I didn't know episode three was going up at the time. So I was like, what? Why Sunday for episode three? I thought it was ready. No. <laughs> that was four. why I said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was kind of offended. I was like, <laughs> I was a like, long time. You were like, a like five daily. days <laughs> for the end of the maybe? I tune into the Origins podcast that happened on, uh, on this channel. Which oh, half? That was oh. fun. I, yeah. I, I was in the beginning. To Mev. No, because I was, um, I was like, because I started streaming at like seven. So I was just like, while I was eating food before my stream, I was just watching your podcast to get, for a bit. And I tune in at a moment where Zylo, I believe, is complaining about having too much content. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> it's been my favorite yeah. joke lately. <laughs> it's gonna oh, run out soon like, no what? just do it and then i'll be suffering like everyone else it's oh, hard out here having too right. many ideas imagine <laughs> imagine having imagine. too many ideas especially like imagine when you have all these ideas mind. and other people have ideas and they just bring them to you and then you have to deal with them <sighs> mm. well it must be terrible you know, as I currently have a message out in the plot ideas asking for someone to collab with me before Sunday that no one's responded to. I, I, I was literally about to respond to it, and I'm like, come on, someone else. I know I'll, no, I'll jump at it, but someone else has to. Else. I, I can do it, but I've literally been there already, I've you know. I've been trying so. so hard to schedule things with people, but no one wants to do anything till next week. And I was like, I need videos now. <laughs> also, I just want to say, need I'm waving, yeah. at, I'm waving at you, you know. Kayla. I just okay, want to say anything. You didn't say anything in the chat. Record with me. I just yeah, want to point out the there's, a, uh, there's a pixel cowboy in the chat, and it makes me happy that he uses my emote at the end of a Kayla roast. So he is so trying thank to you, fight pixel me cowboy. Right now. Pixel <laughs> cowboy wants to go on Roblox. <laughs> He's trying to one v one you Listen, in Roblox. I have two hundred and thirty thousand subscribers for a reason, pixel cowboy. He's gonna hack right. your account. How's the if Roblox you keep this PvP oh, game go? <laughs> um, it depends on what game you're playing, because they're mm, all different. Darn. Arsenal's tough. Mm hmm. Just wondering if I, I can beat Roblox people up PvP. in it. Every single game's different, so it just depends. It's not like <laughs> Minecraft where it's all like 
standard PvP. Wow, Cowboys assembled in the chat. He's got like a squad. He's got a squad backing <laughs> him up. He's not even by himself. He's He's the whole uh, gang during the, is here. During oh, the wait. Origins SMP We've, we've welcomed SMP. Pixel Cowboy uh, really openly please. into our community. He's like a staple of everyone's kind of community. Has he been building a resistance in the community this whole time? Big time. Oh They're my god. To fight me. <laughs> Freedom fighters, am I right? What is Kayla I feel eating? like all Kayla subscribers are just there, just Popsicle. her family Popsicle. feeling bad. Listen, I don't have 40,000 family members or 200,000 family members. Well, you live in Florida, so it's hard to say. <laughs> I'm not it depends, from Listen, Florida. it depends on how oh, so you don't far have any other down you Florida. trace okay, cool. the family tree. No. How far down do you trace? No, he's not, he's well, not I, saying I, I it's sister definitely sister the case, Kayla. It's just, you know, here. it's just not off the table. On is the, it that hard to believe that I'm likable? Maybe I should start I like you more. Thank you, Kaylee. I got one person. I, mean, yeah. I bully people You can make a living off like of roasting me, so. people, Kayla. You can make a, ro a living off of roasting people, Kayla. I could. No? Hey, yeah. everyone was following my resistance yesterday with roasting people. Everyone listened. Mm -hmm. I mostly I just roast myself. Oh, at the very end, though. Oh. Mm, he's still a resistance. Y'all really got me. Y'all really got me there. <laughs> Devin, I hear trying to contain himself, like, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't, and I'm like... He did. <laughs> I have no bounds. He made it worse. <laughs> you see the tweet he did after? He literally goes, Hey, my name. Cake. And I was like, yeah, Cake the, the full circle. Cake <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't uh, check out, what was it, yesterday's stream? Yesterday's oh, Origins yeah. podcast, whatever it is. That'll be happening more. That's good fun. Mm -hmm. Just a place for us to get our uh, nervous podcast energy out so we don't have to spend two hours doing it before every D&D &D game. <laughs> we'll still do it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was saying on my right stream because some people were talking about it a little bit. And I said, like, I think it's a really, really cool idea to do that because, like, one of my favorite parts of these D&D &D games often is is the conversation we have afterwards talking about what just happened and the decisions everyone made and stuff. And sometimes it's just kind of fun to nerd out about behind the scenes stuff. After about... the campaigns? Yeah. Oh, after it's the never after the about D and D. What do you mean? It's rarely. <laughs> no, 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 it is no, no. rare. It's still on stream. You know. No. Right yeah. No. Stream. When we talk about it after stream, sometimes or even before stream, like when we when we recount the crazy week that we had the week before, you know, stuff like that. Those are some of my favorite things. So, I just I just like that kind of content. You so. know, shout out to Cheyenne Lee. Apparently, I'm their favorite. Uh, sorry, Zylo. Not sorry. Also, okay. my mom just Finished brought me a popsicle. giant burger, and I don't want to eat this on camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ma take a cry. massive bite right now and leave it for later. <laughs> yeah. Just a merciless just, bite. Just Biggest you, chomp you can. I don't just even because know what you I pointed it out. Just because you pointed it I out. I had pointed out, so I didn't just casually start eating french fries. I want to see a three inch deep <laughs> bite mark on this burger. That's yeah. not happening. My mouth is not Shark that big. Shark bite. Ooh ha ha. This thing I'm is so, so large. I finished my popsicle. I you gonna uh, run and get another one. I ate one of those sandwiches that has different names. I one of those sandwiches that has different names depending on what part of the country you live in. Yeah, in where right. I live, they're called heroes, but it was just like a Hoagies? sandwich. Yeah, that's like hoagie that sandwich. Big. Yeah, it's a hoagie. Yeah, a can hero I just is move a my camera up here so you can't see me eating this? <laughs> Fair. Like grinders, that's another one in chat. I believe that's another name for this same exact sandwich. It's just like regional, like what you call it. We need to make them a new name for those sandwiches just to add it to the mix and just. Oh, true. Yeah. Never explain ourselves to. Mm hmm. How do I do this? What should we call it? <laughs> super, oh. super. There we go. Now you can't see the fry until it enters frame. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just like went to move the camera myself ah. and move something completely different. There, oh. there, you got it. <laughs> Perfect. So what's funny so is uh, getting back into the D and D and scurvy yeah, yeah. seas and what happened last episode. Mm -hmm. Does Kayla? I can't remember. Does Kayla have any idea of what I happened have last episode? No idea. <laughs> Didn't get oh a popsicle. God. So she's nothing. So she, she she knows nothing of poop buckets. <laughs> 
Um, no, but I'm very excited to find out. <laughs> Imagine uh, before the entire just... episode revolved around poop buckets. That's actually actually really all the setup you need. Before we get started, I just Great. want to say, like, I explained that one to my brother. And past <laughs> week, we've been staining fences with, like, yeah. brown stain. <laughs> Yeah. We've been doing that for like a month. <laughs> oh, the buckets. To be honest. Well, oh, the oh, done did, you, did you go up and say, oh, it needs more fiber? <laughs> oh, I'm careful of the spinach. <laughs> 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 uh, so we're just slopping all this stain onto the fences, riling off <laughs> jokes that have to do with the last episode of Scurvy Seeds. Poor brother. So. That's, that's the, that, that is, that is immaculate. That is great. Uh-huh. So, that made the uh, whole process a little more entertaining. I was and just I dying of laughter. It was something that was completely improv. We didn't plan it at all before, but I think I'm the one who pulled the trigger by saying the thing. But I love the fact that even if I hadn't, both Devin and Zyla were waiting to. Like, we you were probably going to bring up... <laughs> <laughs> you were probably going to send it in the same direction. So, it was like, oh, it was inevitable. Great minds. Poop buckets oh, yeah. were inevitable. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was no dodging this one. The oh, the one thing I was very uh, happy about was Zylo's on the spot character creation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dude who was an expert. <laughs> Zylo, we'll hand off to this guy. This guy. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> he was way into it. He took it. He had a lot of pride in his job, which <laughs> I guess is I can respect that. Yeah. Well. Who all wants right. to play some D and D? Sure. Then we'll all, I'll go back. All to... that being said, I've got my Sunny D. I'm ready to roll. Sunny D and D. All right. Oh my God. I'm gonna pop out my character sheet like I like to do. Cool. Sweet. Oh wait, oh, that's that's prosciutto. Member? That's not me. <laughs> no, keep uh, that one popped open him? too. Why not? What was we his have name? Have a new member? Yeah. Who is he? I want to beat him up. Who is he? No, you can't beat him up. He was oh, the Georgie or something. No, the. Oh, Are you God. sure? You'll float too. Georgie was a, a different one. Yeah, Wait, it was. was. Wasn't it the poop bucket guy? Yeah. What was his name? Oh yeah, the poop bucket guy. Guys, is part of her quickly. Crew now. I forgot what was about his that. Name? Yeah, it was Georgie. It was Georgie. It was Georgie. It was Georgie. Yeah. It was Georgie. Oh, it was Georgie. Oh, so. Okay. I thought mm -hmm. it was a different char character. My bad. Jeez, no, arguing with the Kevin. DM. We'll see how your game goes wow. today. I think Listen, this isn't the oh, first time like... I've had to argue with the DMs <laughs> <laughs> about a poop bucket character of all things. Oh, well, we got Georgie now, but they're taking six of our members. Correct. I think. So previously on the Scurvy oh. Seas, the crew came up to the uh, Naval Fort and managed to sneak on in in the form of a bird. This bird, although finding the secret key to open the treasure they are seeking, managed to get themselves captured. Two other members of the crew then decided to go in for a rescue mi mission, and ended up joining the British Navy in the process. <laughs> Turns out, they were not as deceptive as they had thought. They made themselves at home, got nice little uniforms on, and then they made their way to get to work at um the dungeons conveniently where their crewmate burb was being kept unconveniently where georgie's expertise uh, came into play as the master of bucket duty <laughs> emphasis on duty like the hole <laughs> it was its own duty <laughs> the uh it's rescuers the then proceeded to um um remove waste from the uh, other stalls before finding their crewmate. They then found themselves surrounded by Navy soldiers. And uh, after some negotiation, ended up stepping out and becoming surrounded. It was revealed that the Admiral of the fort and the local Navy was none other than the uncle of Edward Dunford Longbottom the Fourth. After an uneasy dun, fam, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, done, done, done. 
and after an uneasy family it's not working right now in discord <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> i was just trying would, to hit it sadly I just i would have been on that i just want chat to you know i would have been on that too. <laughs> it didn't work but yes after further negotiation they uh came to an agreement we parlay a fine parlay well, they exactly. worked together to uh get the treasure however there would have to be contingencies left behind six members of the scurvy sea star would have to be left at the fort however georgie had to go with the crew and uh <coughs> everyone was pretty pleased about that really so uh, he was like please take him <laughs> it was like we were like we would like to take you a member take you, you can't, can't take, take a, member. a member. We of want Royal Georgie. Uh, you can take him. You can, you can absolutely <laughs> you can take a member of Georgie. We'll turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Georgie. I feel like Poor it's Zyla doing a similar bit to me. His his and my pirate role play where we just had was it Crunch, and he was just the crew member nobody wanted. <laughs> and, and now and the argument wasn't over who could keep him. The arg no, you could take him. No, it's fine. You could take him. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah, you we, should. <laughs> I guess yeah, we did that joke in that as well. <laughs> Except the navy doesn't want him. We want That's him. A great, mm -hmm. That's a great. That's a great bit. But we won't and... take him. We will. We want him. Oh, you <laughs> will. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh thank God, because we don't. <laughs> oh. We come in on the deck of the scurvy sea star. Captain Alexander manning the boat. How are everything's looking out there? I swear if you say watery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watery. Yeah. Captain <laughs> Alexander eats a sandwich and slowly begins moving the boat towards the fort. Dinghies are dropped. Prisoners are moved. And it's time to decide who will be staying behind at the fort. Not Dave. I vote the woman. I vote the woman. <laughs> so... There can be only one. <laughs> what are you guys um, up to? You're still waiting at the fort as a, a dinghy is coming in from your ship? Mm-hmm. It's about freaking time Alexander did something. How, wh what has he been doing this whole time, do you think? Probably eating a sandwich and just standing around like he usually Are does. we on the sand? Um, yes. Burb has her stick and she's drawing in the sand. <laughs> she's drawing little <laughs> happy faces in the sun. <laughs> One of them looks like it's a vaguely bird, but... You, you know, I never, really I never took you for an artist, Burb. That's... Very fine heart. I love it. Burb draws a star in <laughs> Have you ever heard of NFT? No, 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 oh, no, no. Don't get up started. Sorry. I'm Burb, sorry. Draws, <laughs> Burb draws a frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That was not. What have I what have I told you, Burb? You could sell that art to somebody. For like lots of stupid amount of money, but they don't actually own it. Like you still have it, but you could just like you're not like that selling like them the that actual like art. You're 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 selling them like ownership of it, but not the actual thing. Does that make sense to you, Wiley? This is witchcraft. Just Burp Burp yeah, I know. Not... I don't get it either, uh, uh, the Captain. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, of a sand drawing of all things. <laughs> anyway, back to Alexander and how useless he is. At least Burb, you know, while we're waiting, is sitting here uh, uh, exercising her creative mind. That That's good. What What is useless, stupid Alexander doing right now, do you think? Wow, you're really, <laughs> you're really driving it home, Wiley. We... <laughs> But look at all the things we've been through. What's he been doing? What's he been doing through the poop buckets and the... I had... I had to wear a British soldier's outfit, Captain. Do you realize what that means to me? I... I yes. I thought I walked you through it as well. I know exactly what happened. Do you realize 
the scope of how atrocious that atrocious that is for me. Burbad's angry Edward eyebrows nods. to the frowny face. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like a British soldier for at least a week. Yes. <laughs> Don't British soldier. That's how that works. Oh, well, I'll just say. Like <laughs> it's like, well, at least we don't have to worry about it smelling bad for a while. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bird like don't the British soldier smell good. Wait, I got an idea. Um, <laughs> Wiley pulls a small bottle of rum out of his pocket and just starts pouring it all over himself. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> light yourself on fire. Please. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just I'm getting more comfortable. <laughs> it smells like tea. I'm trying to get rid of that awful tea smell. I like the smell of tea. <laughs> That's so no, we're, not going to, we're not going on about it. The, the Wiley eats it. <laughs> well, I have developed a game. A game that not only I, but you guys can randomly select the crew members you'll be leaving behind. Oh. Oh? Mm -hmm. As long as it's nice. Dave. What kind of game, game are we? What is, what is this jigsaw esque? Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe I, I missed this part. Why, why are we leaving crew members behind again? Or so do we have to? Them? Hmm. Otherwise, the, uh, they won't trust you. To leave. Oh, okay. We gotta we gotta leave some sort of like insurance. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Basically. As long as it's not Dave. It's not Dave. Mm -hmm. Well, so chat, just in case I forgot anyone, shout out all your favorite crew members' names so I can know to have them on this list, and we'll okay. see if they get to stay First behind. one's gonna be Dave. First one's Better gonna not be Dave. Be Dave. Yeah, so let me move Dave to slot one. If So no. what, the way this game works is, it's a d20. You've played D&D before, you know how a d20 works. Um, if you What's roll... The well, horse? <laughs> Did somebody seriously put the horse in? <laughs> Are we gonna leave, leave the, the horse. horse behind? Hork, hork Chorvin. <laughs> Chorvin, no. <laughs> His horse has been left behind. Not my kid. The, the kid. kid. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had the a son. Have what this did child. I name him? What did I name him? <laughs> it was I something really ridiculous. It was something also really ridiculous. Also, a question. Are our characters going on this list? <laughs> Is there a potential for like? Do I have to, like, Will Smith. Oh. You named him Will Smith. Oh, and Goldie. Goldie. Did I really name him Will? Smith? You, you, did. Did. you did. You did. You did Will. Will. You named him Will. God, what's the uh, what's the chef's name too? You're right. Pierre. Oh, I really did. We it, need the chef. Something though. French. Yep, it's Pierre, of course. Pierre. Yeah. What of cures? <laughs> Yep. Oh, man. The blind guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember who me and Kayla chose to be on the crew. <laughs> yeah, Some okay. So I think I got a list. Chorvin. I love yeah, how why, I, I, <laughs> The blind guy. Oh, the blind guy didn't make it. Nope. No, he, he never wasn't cut it. out for this line of work. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. and nobody led him to the ship. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't cut out. He couldn't make it to the ship. I really wish the survival of the fittest, maybe. Survival of the fittest. Well, six mm -hmm. people will be left behind. I'll make the first and last roll. Um, Kaylee, don't roll a one. <laughs> or you leave Dave behind. I don't want so to I'll go Dave first. Yet. If it's anything past a ten, it's going to be a random unnamed crewmate. So <sighs> there, there's oh, a win scenario you're... in here. It's not a so, loot all lose. Someone we're yeah. not emotionally attached to. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, it's a face of snowball. Oh, 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 also, uh, uh, shop, uh, Che. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't have him on my list. Cool. Yeah, Che's che? on there, too. Yeah. No. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, no. Bye. Well. How messed up are we? Um, pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> so it's They're fixed. They're back. Yep. Nice. Nah. <laughs> Now Zylo is Wily here. <laughs> okay, oh, well. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Oh, no. All right. Oh, Who's staying behind? <laughs> red of a name. Red shirt. That's funny. That's, red. There's literally just some guy in a red shirt. You know, he's, he's dragged <laughs> off the dinghy. This will be the first one staying with us. And we just don't bat an eye. We're like... 
Captain. Who is that, Captain? I don't even recognize that guy again. I don't know that guy. <laughs> Turns out it was a stowaway. <laughs> He's really doing you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Some drunk guy who just wandered back to the ship with a couple of pirates at our last port or whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, who would like to roll the dice Me. next? Ooh, Ooh that's a person. Oh. Ew. Who is that? You guys see, as a hunched over, grizzled old man is dragged up off the dinghy, it's your uh, cannon master, Boomer. No! No! Not Boomer. Wait. I love Boomer. Wait, they chose me. Oh, Boomer. Oh, they chose me. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. What? How are we going to shoot things efficiently? Boomer. I can man the cannons. It'll be fine. Boomer. No. Not like Boomer, though. Boomer. I got this. You're, I'm so you're saying that you have his, we have it. his name is Boomer. He booms. Boomer. My name is Captain Alexander. <laughs> Boomer don't talk much. But you don't captain! Do you see where the disconnect is I sure is do. Here? I've been captaining the past however long you guys have been poop bucketing. Who told you about that? Was it the bird? Right. <laughs> is this the place where I signed up for the crew? God. God. Brought my own what? brush. Is that Georgie? Uh, Georgie! Right. Yes, yes. Georgie. Told I have to go along with you guys. Mm, yes. I th yes, c can't wait, Georgie. Um, Great. You don't really have to sign anything. Can, can you read and write? No, not one bit. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, well, thank the, you. Thank goodness. <laughs> thank oh. goodness. All right, I guess I'll roll If now. you could just scribble here, then. <laughs> I'll just, just, uh, just a little scribble. Eleven. Ooh, just barely safe. Woo. Ten and under, that's the thing. Yep. Oh, no. So some deckhand is dragged up. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. One Please of the more prevalent don't. deckhands, you've seen him in like three episodes as an extra. Oh. Man. Mm -hmm. Never got it showtime. Mm -hmm. Never had any oh. lines. <laughs> was All right. One, he was one Please. day away from retirement. <laughs> one day from retirement. Please. Don't as the guy walks roll. by, Wiley is just like... Don't. Hey, uh, to hang in there, you. Jim. Everything will be fine. A nine. <sighs> Who'd I get? You see. Oh, no. The chef of the crew. No! The no! 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 Why? Why do I have to stay in this place? Who's going to make my sandwiches? Who's going to feed us? <laughs> he spits on the shore as he steps out upon British soil. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna beat us! We're gonna we will be back for you, Pierre! Ocean. We'll be back! Pierre, are not We're take all... long. As he spits on the shore, Wiley say... turns to Edward and goes, I love that man. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and I just I just whisper back, Can we get married. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like that, just like a you know, a mutual like bro love. We are it's bro love. So that's four. <laughs> Who hasn't rolled? Mev? Oh, right, yes. I'm rolling a 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you better not roll a 1, I swear. Roll a 1. Roll By a that, one. I mean I'm rolling a nat 20. Okay, Ooh, I roll a 20. Well, random. Mm -hmm. Random. Rando. Not bad. We've been going pretty back and forth. It's been rando, person, rando, person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Last Why did they have to get Pierre mine. and Boomer? Those two are the ones I'm most attached to. I know, the long-running crewmates that are still alive apparently get, <laughs> oh, get man. sent out. So. Not a one. Not a one. Here More reason to come go. back, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not a one. <gasps> so no! hang out. We leave them. Who is that? Who is that? Depending on it's, who that is. It's Leo. Leo. Uh, the, 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 it's the dude that, uh, the pickpocket, right? The. Oh, yeah, he was a thief, wasn't he? Uh, he's the guy who, who, um,. I'll be honest, in my notes, I just have hipster musician put down. Oh, yeah, he oh, was the hipster yeah. musician! No, it wasn't the pickpocket, it was mm -hmm. the hipster guy. No, it wasn't uh, that Goldie. Goldie's the... Mm -hmm. He's fine. Goldie yeah, was Goldie. the... Yeah, Goldie I was. I, I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot Leo existed. I did, too. He can go. He, didn't. I did. he was fun he didn't when he was on much. screen, but, you know, the game yeah. will live without him. He didn't yeah. play much. 
So I'm gonna miss both. We need to. We need to get Boomer and Pierre back. Nah, hear me out. We leave and we don't come no. back. No, no, we need Boomer and Pierre. We need our chef. We're gonna go. We we're gonna starve on the seas. I we can make this food. I don't a, trust you. I'm a very good you. cook. I don't trust that one. Bit. Well, let me get this straight. You're gonna try to man the cannons and feed the entire crew. I'll do it all. <laughs> I am capable. <laughs> You have one arm. Wait, wait! What is my alligator limb? It's still the... Roll me a D10. I know, I just... the, it, the day hasn't gone by. No, okay, hasn't roll gone. me a d10. I think a day has passed, sure. I wasn't here last time I was here, yeah. so I don't know what it was last time anyway. Ah, true, true, true. R, D, 10. As if it wasn't all the same day still. Because it was like... It went from the bird infiltration to us trying to get bird out. Get bird yeah. out. Yeah. Seems like um, all your limbs are humanoid like they normally would be. But you have a That's little concerning. tiny tail. Oh. <laughs> Stubby tail. It's kind of awkwardly. Is it sticking tail. out of my pants? Or like, how's that work? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's got a... <laughs> Back it's your pants just, just riding a little low. <laughs> There's a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like I'm going myself? Or... <laughs> Um, it I, depends. I do, you, that... do you tuck the tail into the pants or let it hang out? If I let it hang out, is my butt crack showing? Um, do I care? A little do bit I of care? it. Just a little care. Care. The smallest You're bit of butt pirate. crack shows. Ooh. I think we let it. It's drafting. How I attack the ladies. Of course. <laughs> I'm sure that's what that it That being does. said, um, Kayleen is still on the crew. You know, Shay is still on the crew. Dave... And Goldilocks, Will Smith, Chorvin. My son! I'm glad we didn't excited. leave the child with the British. Who knows what they would have done to him. Probably filled his head full of British propaganda. At least Dave didn't take it. Right, Wiley? Probably. Uh, ca Captain, what if we trade, like, Pierre for that Kayleen person? Do you, think, do, you think, do you think we could do that? Wiley's trying to have a sword fight right now. How <laughs> now, Wiley? Ah, just, who's gonna... Who's gonna make cinnamon buns in the morning? Have we asked anyone else if they know how to cook? What if Kayleen's a good cook? What if, uh... What if, uh... uh Jordan knows how to cook? Alexander saying he's gonna decorator, cook, 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 cook. You know say. it's gonna be awful. Cake baker. Cake bakerator? Cake decorator. She was. She did work in a bakery. So. I do that with all pirate ration ingredients. <laughs> That's where Pierre's skill came from. Anyone can cook a delicious it. meal. Pierre did it out of sawdust with nothing. and flour and water. And He's a meat. truly gifted man. <laughs> He's a gifted man. <laughs> and limes. <laughs> Lots and lots of limes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's everybody, right, Captain? Is uh, that's what's six. left? You see the six dragged off. Pierre struggling against his ropes as he's pulled within the walls of the British fort. Wait, so we just took. Oh, oh no! If they throw them in the brig, who's gonna clean clean their poop buckets? We just took Georgie. Oh no! <laughs> Don't you worry, there's plenty that are great at their job here. Plenty of good. <laughs> he just well, firmly great. clasps That's your shoulder. You. And just um, holds it there. So can during I sniff this his whole hand? <laughs> can I sniff his fingers? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is the captain doing? Roll me a d20. <laughs> oh no. It's like he put the hand on my shoulder and I look over her. Uh, there's no way I don't sm like like I, I don't like passively sniff, you know. Yeah, it don't smell good. So uh, hands on Georgie, with his work. Georgie, where was uh, when was the last time you uh, washed your hands? Um, three days. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been on poop bucket duty for three days straight? No. No, of course not. Did you get a day off? 
Well, I work every day. The first day of the week, yes, bucket duty. Second day, I clean the kitchens. Then you guys caught me. Yes, once again, bucket duty. Uh, <coughs> great. All right, I'll get you some limes. Great. So during this whole exchanging of prisoners thing, where is the admiral? Is he like standing oh, he's there? proudly mm. standing on a rampart. Just Pants behind his back. <laughs> His uniform Why billowing in the wind. To, turn to him and be like, so that's it then. You're just going to let us sail off now? That is the plan, yes. If you wish to see your crewmates again, return with the treasure. They are still going to be alive when we come back, right? Of course. We are Maybe. not some sort of evil group of people. Wiley has the Wiley's has the I'm Why has everyone went silent after I said this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like audible silence is like Right. Mm. 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 Well I suppose we should be off then, right, Captain? Uh yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. We will return. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> and Wiley starts making his way towards the ship, but does it turn around and does it like break line of sight with the uh, Admiral? Tell me he trips. Give me a dexterity Please check. roll for dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> Please. That would be great. Please, I I so hope I fail this dexterity check. Captain Alexander, yeah. I imagine he's still on the ship. He is like yeah. watching from a looking glass or whatever. Yeah, as you back up, you step on um, Burb's sand drawing. But you don't fall over. Burb, burb, burb glares at him heavily. Pulls out her stick and <laughs> whack him. Whack. Tries to whack him. Tries to whack him. Oh, what? What did I do? He points at the the sand drawing. <laughs> that could have sold for a million. Oh God! Can I petition? Do you still, <laughs> still pin? Because I believe in theory you don't even have to give them the actual sand drawing. Uh, it's I, like. Can I, can you I just have to literally oh, say. No. You just have to claim ownership of it. You don't even have to like show <laughs> copyright or any sort of legally binding go government uh, document that you actually own it. Bird walks away. <laughs> Can I petition walk, for when, the whenever ship. we're leaving? When, well, as we're leaving, can I petition for a cannon? The Admiral literally saying to himself, this is, that's the worst bunch of pirates I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the worst pirates I've ever seen. I've Not seen a lot. Long. He didn't see me, though, that's why. Probably. <laughs> that's great. All right, you guys. Getting on the dinghy back room, back the to the ship. ship. Yeah. ER. Back to the dinghy. All right. You row. The Admiral watches you. A few of the other soldiers watch you, but no one seems to move for any sort of attack. And they let you go. Oh. You row back to your ship. And, uh... What's Captain Alexander doing as the others begin to row closer to the ship? Um... Well, has he noticed that they're coming, I guess? Sure. Yes? I we didn't get the key, uh... right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure yeah. he didn't just not give it to us. Ha! <laughs> ah, got him! They didn't <laughs> even consider <laughs> the, my half of the bargain! <laughs> oh, what, what fools! <laughs> anyway, continue, Kayla, continue. I guess he'll just get ready to help them up, throw down the rope ladder, or whatever they need to do. All right. You guys uh, get up to the side of the back boat. With open arms. Winch up. is lowered. Pulled right up. My dear what? friends, welcome. We're home. We missed you so much. Except you, Wiley. Wiley's still in a British soldier outfit, isn't he? 
did, did either Edward or Wiley? I don't think at any point did we indicate that we changed clothes, so we're <laughs> definitely still dressed as British soldiers right now. So Wiley probably <laughs> just scowls at Alexander. I'm going to get changed and walks off. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, uh, Edward like trades his freaking uh, British soldier hat for his actual captain's hat and puts it on instead. <laughs> <laughs> Burb goes to find Dave. Captain, I have something exciting to show you. Y yeah? What's up? What did, I what turn did, around what? and I put my butt near him. I don't know if this is the place for that, Captain. <laughs> I grew a tail! I'm gonna wait till you're on, sh on shore for that. I grew a tail! You grab a winch or two. I grew a tail. Yeah, we all have tails. No, it's Burb <clears throat> coughs. Oh, in the oh, you meant oh, you meant oh, oh, and I looked down. I'm like oh, oh, I just oh, oh my. Do you like it? It's uh, it's definitely uh, flattering. It's a lot better Very than flattering. having a gator leg or arm, don't you think? Uh, out of everything you've had so far, I'm saying this is. Do you least... think Kayleen will like it? Ah, oh, yes, Kayleen. Right, right, right. Um, one way to find out is to show her, I guess. Got a point. I mean, I, I doubt she's ever met anyone with a gator's tail. That's interesting. That's a that's a that's a conversation starter, wouldn't you say? You're right. Like mine, my icebreaker is daggers. So I mean. It doesn't really help. Thanks, Captain. No, anytime, anytime. You want to talk about daggers? We can do that too. No, Preferably. That's that's okay. Yeah, if you ever have any questions about daggers, you know how to come to me. Alexander walks away. <laughs> At any time. <laughs> You're walking afraid. away. Wiley so kind of walks back up, and as Alexander walks by, Wiley goes, what? "Did you?" Did you poop your pants? It looks like you pooped your pants. <laughs> and then do you just call Georgie? Georgie? <laughs> right, I was just about to ask where do I get started. <laughs> Does he? Did he bring his own bucket? <laughs> no, but he has his own. He has his own scrubbing brush. <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> what could I do to help? Oh, I gosh. I think Alexander might need your help. Uh, Alexander, meet Georgie. He's new Hi. to the crew. Nice to meet you. I clean pockets. <laughs> Don't mind Alexander. He's kind of an idiot. Any particular duty you want me on? What are you good for? All types of manual labor, really. Just really want to earn my earn my wages here, earn my meals. Oh, yeah, no, you don't want to answer to Alexander here because he really does not have any authority here. You probably want to well, go talk to the captain. you just said that there might be a, you know, pantful. I am just now realizing that I uh, think instead Alexander has grown a tail, which is, I know, sounds strange. You want to see it? I didn't show it to you yet. How do you know I have a tail? What do you? Uh, you either have a tail or you pooped your pants. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here, out of my pants. Should we you find the bucket right just now. in case? I don't. I didn't poop my pants. Where do you keep <laughs> the buckets on this vessel? Under. Do we even. The we, we, we have bailing buckets. We definitely have bailing buckets, Wiley. <laughs> we have lots. It's of a buckets. ship. For Not God's sake! High time for an inspection. <laughs> Uh, I guess so. Captain, Captain, uh, what what should George Georgie here do? What should we make him in charge of? Well, what, Georgie? What was your daily inspection like in the fort? Maybe you could do that. Sure. Make sure we have enough buckets, holding containers yes. for all sorts of things, making sure they don't Wait. get mixed up. Wait, you said earlier at the, at the at the British fort you used to clean the kitchens. You said right. Did you ever cook any other food? 
made tea a few times. I just take. I, I, no, I, I said. I mean real food. I, I go up to Wiley and I whisper. I'm like, "What's wrong with tea?" Have you? I just say, "Listen, if you sniffed his hands, you would not want him to handle the food." Who's gonna cook for us, though? So Someone whose hands don't smell like cook. excrement. Me, 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 me. Do are you hungry? Do you want dinner? Who, I was about to say, who is talking right? Now? You know, I was like, <laughs> which one? With all due respect, Alexander. Do you think ever in a million years I would trust the food you gave me? You've been probably trying to poison me already for years. <laughs> I would rather live on a diet of limes and rum for the next three weeks before I ever trusted anything you made and put it in my mouth. So you don't want this drink? What kind of drink? <laughs> it's a nice cold rum. You get it cold. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was so good. Like, what? Wait. That's as cold as you have a nice test me. somewhere? Mm. <laughs> if you use your imagination, it's cold. Okay. Fair enough. Wiley pulls out his own bottle, and he actually took a piece of, like, um, I guess like a piece of kind of straw that you would find out in some place and he made like an actual straw and he's just like, no, I have my own. Okay. <laughs> Alexander starts drinking it. <laughs> Wiley well, just gives Alexander an untrusting look because he does not trust anything Alexander does ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, back to, back to, I guess, Georgie. Okay, what? Well, what, 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 I, uh, so you want me to get seems... to the cooking then? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's probably not the the best no. idea. We're still no. trying to find the I right place. I can make a real good mashed potatoes. Look, Captain, this man is really, really motivated. Which you know, I think we should harness this and use it for you know its best potential. What should we make him do? Oh, you know, I'm great at harnessing passion. So great at it. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Uh, uh, hey, Burb, any suggestions of what Georgie should do? Exactly. Oh, right. Burb, good talk as always. Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Alexander, do you have any suggestions? He can be my sous chef. What? That it's just it's decided now. Alexander's doing the cooking now. Is this what's happening? I'm happy I, to help, really. No one else I is putting their hand in. I navigate. I can. I can man the cannons, and I can cook. Wiley, unless you unless you suggest you will yourself, then I can't cook. I barely know how to eat properly, let alone cook. Listen, no Burp. one else is throwing in their hand, so I'm Burp. 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 You know what I'm you throwing Burp. in my whole Burp. hand. Well, one one hand. You do the cooking, I'll man the cannons and boomers. Captain, can I, Captain, can I, can I, can I at least ask for you to make sure that Georgie washes his hands? Or at least well, rinses yes. them really, 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 That really, is very really, really sanitary. Really. Her, her we'll be washing them with rum. Her hand in the background. Washing them with rum? Yes. Alcohol kills all the bacteria. That's why it's so good for you to drink. That's true. Is that, I've heard is, that. Is that, is that the? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Burp has her hand raised at the back. <laughs> What's up, Burp? Like, I know how to cook. <laughs> Burp can be oh. our third sous chef. Edward just throws his hands up in the air like, I don't even, I don't, I, you, you guys figure this out and just leaves. Living in the <laughs> wild has taught me things. 
Can we live off of Burbs berries? <laughs> 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 Here's your breakfast. Here's your breakfast. Just your individual breakfast. berries. Well, it makes you feel a little bit. It makes you feel a sledge a little bit better, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it staves off those hunger pains. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Makes you feel healthier, <laughs> you know? I, I did not choose to be captain, by the way, chat. I got chosen to be captain. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, chat. I think. Yeah, I was voted into being captain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we have that established, where are we headed again, captain? Oh, I'll navigate. No, we have all the keys right now, now though, yeah. don't we? We have all of the keys. One blue, one red, and green. So what? What would he? If I remember correctly, what do we have to go back to that magical cave we found, or something like that? Was that where we needed to go? Aren't I the only person that knows where it is? Because I can only read the map. <laughs> Was that how it worked? Yeah, it's like the the lady gave you, you vision. You, you could read the map. As they're talking, can I get out the map? Sure. Assuming I still have it on my person? Yep. You do. You didn't have okay. anything taken from you. Can I still read it? Yes. You can see... I have the map! A clean line, the direction to the cave where you were before. Wonderful. I a couple of the other crewmates walk up. Just, like, trying to see what's going on. Mm. Can we help you? I, I just wanted to know when dinner is. Why don't you ask our new chef, Alexander? <laughs> oh no. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a, uh, I'm a great cook. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm excited. Sure, we couldn't get you know anyone else to. You know, maybe... you know how to cook, son? I, I could I make meals for Carol. All right, Torvin. Uh, I, I could probably make a mean oatmeal. If if whatever well if whatever if whatever Alexander makes is not palatable at all to the point of literally consuming vomit, then uh then yeah we could whip up that for. Well, yes, I'm sure that's a very it. sounds like a very useful skill there, Chorvin. You know, of course, if the whole crew were horses, but we're human beings, Chorvin. Oh, you're the one who asked me. Hand. I didn't. I wasn't trying to volunteer. Bird braises her hand again. <laughs> Yes, but oh, yes, Burb, yes, Burb, we know you can cook to the conversation. What, what about a cooking competition? That's a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I just ask, I just like William. Uh, no, wait, wait, say William. You know what? That sounds fun. I don't even know how to cook, but I want to enter myself into the cooking competition. <laughs> Edward, Edward, just questions. Where are we getting this food from to cook for a cook-off? We have Goldie just leaning on a barrel. We don't have to do this, do we? It's not a mandatory cooking contest, is it? And I'm like, I look over, I'm like, thank you. Why? What's the matter? Sissy? <laughs> well, the, the one big concern would be rations. The one big concern would be if we make all this food right now, how are we going to last the rest of the trip? I have the solution. Do it. Tell me. Well, what's my strategy? We just let me be the cook. Dave, do you know how to cook? All in favor of Alexander no, being the cook? cook. That's fair. I. Some nervous I. hands go up like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, for lack of better judge, for lack of better uh, <clears throat> choices, we now elect Alexander as the uh, the ship's <clears throat> chef. Blue-haired woman screams out. Now. What about me? Do you Next know how to cook? Yeah. Oh. Now you. What can you cook? You can be my sous chef. I can make all kinds of things. I can decorate cakes. 
I can make eggs. I can like, make you can, you, have, you can make uh, neither of those. Where do the eggs come from again? <laughs> it's like we have neither of those. <laughs> we see Burr glare at the thought of eggs. Mark. I make more than avocado toast. <laughs> lead me to the avocados and I'll make you something real good. <laughs> What's an avocado? I guess again, I've never temporary. heard of this. You I guess can be my sous chef. Sir Alexander. Now, since my duties are now ship chef and navigator and occasionally the, the boat steerer <laughs> and the cannon uh, master or whatever. Well, what if I want to be the cannon master? That's that's my job. Um, I think I'm going to be the cannon master, actually. <laughs> no, that's my job. But You're I, the I, cook! I am the navigator! Can you read this map? I want to be the cannon master! Son? No! <laughs> boom! Said, no. Boom! Boom! That is Will, right? <laughs> yep. Will. Okay. Will Smith. Will Smith. Little Smith. Will Smith. Alexander gets worked up and he goes to navigate the boat in the correct direction. Alright. Don't get yourself too worked up, Will. You need to save your energy for the ritual. <laughs> when we when we finally sacrifice the crew member and eat them. What? Yes, when you're... <laughs> runs it's a rite of passage. It's when, it's when a young pirate becomes a man pirate. When he eats other human flesh. He's already below deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we're terrible. Well, we're gonna ruin We're that child's entire mind, aren't we? We are pirates. He has me as a dad, so. <laughs> it's already ruined. It's already ruined. Do you think we're gonna psychologically break that child? I hope so. Otherwise, we're not I, doing our job right. I hope so. <laughs> Poor it's Will. So messed. It's, it's so messed up. It's so messed up. Poor Will. It is so messed up. Why are we end, like at the end pleasure. of the campaign? We have to fight Will because Will's turned against like this no. cannibal or against everyone. Will becomes cannibal. <laughs> we are we are creating the final boss right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Terrible. It's so yeah. awful. Okay, I guess Alexander navigate us to the cave then. Can I then roll I guess the sail so. while I navigate? Yes, you can. Our ship takes roll? off. Uh, let's do a fun intelligence roll. Like a jet. Like a jet, Mev. Like a jet. We take off. An intelligence? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You don't usually have me roll intelligence for that. Weird. All right. Yeah. You think you're following the map pretty accurately. I'm yeah. following the map perfectly. I don't know what you're talking about. True. You think you're I head to the kitchen. Perfectly. All right. As you go into the kitchen, uh, Dave walks up to you, Burb. Hey, I, I don't want to interrupt everyone else while they're having very important conversations. This doesn't seem super important. Uh, but you know where all the bottles have been going? He, she like gives him a questioning look. Like, what does he mean? It's just, you know, we used to have a lot of them to, you know, refill with more rum. Fill with water. And it seems like we're running low. She points at Wiley. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Um, mm. He's just smashing them as he goes around or something. She like He's gives a thought. Like, and, um, he could be. Uh, I'm debating where I, whether or not I thought I'd make a cannon that Wiley just throws the bottle overboard after he's done drinking it, or Xylo has another plan here. So... Oh, no. I say whatever you want, I'll roll with whatever you say. <laughs> that's the basic, that's the basic gist of it, isn't it? Burb, Burb like, nods in, like... What I'm like, saying is you guys look over at me. I am certainly yeah, have both... a bottle in hand and I'm taking a swig. Mm -hmm. But yeah, continue. You know, we both like look over at him, <laughs> and then she gives she gives Dave a questioning look, like you think that it's him doing it. That's... Wouldn't be all that surprising. I just think you know you as lookout should keep an eye out on this sort of thing. She nods. She nods. 
And then she she puts up a finger, and she she digs in her coat. Which one? Oh. <laughs> And then she, she, she goes in her cloak, she pulls out a feather, and she hands it to Dave. Thanks. Aww. He puts it in his pocket. Yeah. Aww. It's the first time Burb's given someone something other than a berry or a shillelagh. Well, it's not shiny, so. <laughs> yeah. Just a feather. Burb's feathers mean a bit, or, mm. but she's not going to go giving it to people. But if they, like, pick it up. Like, Wiley's getting one by next episode. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> he just like, grabs Wiley his and you say this and feathers <laughs> out. Look, I got some. <laughs> you say this like 12 episodes ago. Some, we're friends. When, when did you That's start plotting to become Burb's friend. friend? When did you start plotting that? Like 15 episodes, episodes ago? She still hates him. While. She still hates him. <laughs> yeah, still it's literally like... gotten only worse since he started... <laughs> the only the only people Burb even remotely tolerates is Dave and Edward. Those are the only what about Boomer? people. Boomer, mm, she doesn't really talk to Boomer. Yeah, it's like I two characters that don't talk much. Talk you know, so. she respects him, but they she's not like. They silently nod. They silently yeah, nod, they, you know? they like respect each other, but they're not like friends or anything. To me, it, it is my favorite thing about the Burb Wiley dynamic is the more he tries to be friends with her, the worse it gets. And I love that. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> the more her hatred. Like before, she was just kind of content. And then he actually started trying to be her friend. And yeah, no, I, I love the idea off. that he annoys the bejesus out of her. <laughs> the more he tries, the less like she. Wiley is a menace, to... Pixel saying. Exactly what needs to be said. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. Anyway, she 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 like nods her head at like the, you know, going to keep an eye out. So she she goes back onto the, she she walks away, climbs up onto the lookout, and she watches Wiley to see what he does with that bottle. I think it's sip. As as she walks by, he just kind of stops and just gives her a cheers with it. Takes it another <laughs> sip. <laughs> She shakes her head in <laughs> like a noise. And then when he's done drinking it, um, you come to dice. Secretly looks both ways Roll and the then dice. sneaks off somewhere. <laughs> he eats what the glass he? bottle. Strange enough, <laughs> he eats the bottle. He starts chomping on it. He Weird actually, habit. he actually just kind of casually walks. Are we, are we kind of on the deck of the ship, or are we yeah, below deck? deck. He kind of walks and just without even thinking about it, heaves the bottle over the side and keeps walking. <laughs> kind of casual. He's not trying to be sneaky about it either. He just does it think as if nobody's watching him or he doesn't, or that it's completely natural. Burb straight up glares at this. <laughs> she is so annoyed. I don't know if, um, I don't know if uh, Zyla wants me to roll, but my instinct is Wiley doesn't notice. He just keeps kind of well, like he doesn't know Burb's watching him, so. Burb's at yeah. the top. Do you want to make a? I, I don't know if Wiley would even do you bother feel, to care. Do you feel a? Do you feel eyes burning just in the back of your head? Perception check, I guess. See if you notice anyone looking at you. Me? Yeah. Oh, did I do that? Ah, well, oh well. people around but no one's specifically glaring burb's glaring <laughs> is burb up in her nest too yeah. burb is up in the nest yeah so like so I'm unless not you exactly make a point of checking up. on burb after every activity you do yeah so. it makes sense i wouldn't see her glaring at me mm -hmm. i don't know all right yeah yeah which burb one of you is to... uh, assigned to be the quartermaster yeah. I guess it's Alexander. He's uh, taking every role. Yep. Hi. Because <laughs> I know one of you was first mate, one was quartermaster, so. I think I was first Oh, oh, yeah. Wiley well, was first mate. Yeah, I, yeah, was... I thought so. No, was I? I thought I was. Uh, wait, no, did I, I have think two Wiley first was. mates? I think oh, you, yeah, think it was, we it was two first mates. Oh, <laughs> were we uh, two first mates? mates? I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. Were... <laughs> I'm fairly positive I was a first mate at the least. Mm -hmm. I think, did I make... Yeah, did I make Dave quartermaster? You might have made Dave quartermaster. Or no, we, no, it was like the sail 
the sales one? Someone else in chat is also saying the one in charge of the sales master. Oh, was it? That's confirming what you just thought. Sure. Who did I just? Who did I make in charge of the sales? Oh well. Yeah, Dave's know. quartermaster. Yeah, we I'm have a couple people confirming that. I can be quartermaster. No, it's Dave. Dave. He's trying to make sure the ship is well stocked oh. right now. I forgot Dave was still on the ship, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> How dare you? He just had a wholesome burb moment. He has You're a right. feather now. Yeah, he has a feather that he probably what would what would Dave do? Wait. Where does Dave put the feather? In his hair? Oh, that's Put it cute. in his pocket. In his front pocket. Oh, that's not as cute as what I thought, but I mean, hey, it's still cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's going on below deck? Some kitchen rumblings? Ooh. You trying yeah. to make some food in the kitchen? What oh. kind of ingredients am I working with? All right. Let's see. Give me an investigation check so we can do a right. check on those ingredients. Let's see what Rummage we got, through the boys. Pantry. Let's see what Pierre left, everyone. Investigation. It's a good roll. What do you want to find? I want to make the crew pizza. Oh, no. It's not like it's going to happen. Yeah, there's there's some hard <laughs> cheese. There's some, some Parmesan-esque cheese. Straight, like... You have some tomatoes. <laughs> it's Parmesan-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. Uh, certainly oh, no, man. you know, soft cheese like mozzarella on the ship, but you know. There's... No, we don't like have that. an oven, do we? <laughs> you have... On a ship, we don't have an. You have flour. Oven. You know, yeast, things you what, may need to make the dough, a... seasonings of various kinds. See, my plan what? is people make pizzas without an oven. You. You can do like the cast iron pot and then you put a lid on it so it gets like melty. It's deep dish. <laughs> yeah. Can, I got it, this. can can wait, can uh can this all hinge on on uh Kayla's like reliability of describing exactly how to make the pizza <laughs> in this way? No, because then it's gonna be too good. <laughs> I know how to make pizza. In oh. that correct in, in that way, like with those ingredients? Yeah, I can figure it out. All right, describe how Alexander prepares this pizza, and if uh, how if Alexander would mm -hmm. prepare. It. All right, and, so it, and you may gain first. advantage on the roll. First things first, we gotta start with the dough, so it has time to rise. You see, mm -hmm. so we get some flour, we mix it with a little bit of water. You know, maybe a splash or two of rum, just to add a little bit of something, something. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe throw some salt in there. Do this on a bowl or right on a the limited countertop. On the bowl, in the bowl, but then as we mix it up, you know, then we'll we'll mm -hmm. we'll get it out and we'll mix it all together. Washing our hands first with rum, of course. Uh huh. Um, so mix it in a bowl, and then we'll knead it, and then and then we take we we put it back in the bowl, and we cover it, and we we leave that set to. <laughs> what do you cover it with? We, I like the picture also Alexander have? teaching this to Georgie right now too, because <laughs> yeah. Georgie's <laughs> oh, <his> two <laughs> chef is being just like, it right. <laughs> Do I have like Aww. a piece of cloth or like another like flat pan or something? Yeah, you have some few okay. things. All right, so I cover it, put it off to the side, and next we got to figure out the sauce, okay? Roll. Um, so we got tomatoes. Do we have anything else? Um, you got this jar of green stuff. Can I smell it? Sure. <laughs> Give me a perception check. See if you can identify. You just smell Georgie's hand. Cilantro. Ooh. Where do we this, get cilantro from? This is the good stuff. All right. So, Sorry. do we have like a saucepan? Um. <laughs> we have to have yeah. some sort of like pan you got for one. like stew and stuff. Okay. So, I take my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. This is where it might get a little funky because I don't know how to make tomato sauce. A um, bit. I put them in the pot and I start mashing them up. Yep. Just the tomatoes? Just the tomatoes so far. Great. Um, just I want to get them nice and like pureed as much as possible, you know. Um, we'll throw in uh, a little bit more salt if we have any of that and then we'll add it to the heat. Yeah, salt's we'll one some... thing you have plenty of. Okay, cool. 
So then, uh, we'll do, you know, a nice little... <laughs> it's not picking up. We'll do a nice little one of those yep. of the cilantro. Is there anything else around? Do, do we have garlic? Probably not, but you know. Are we just making that? it canon? Are, are we making it canon that Captain Alexander has Italian roots and that's why he knows how to make pizza? He might have spent a little time in Italy or something in his life, maybe. <laughs> do I have anything else to put in this sauce? Um, there's some onions. Ooh, I love a, I love, I love a good... I'm trying to... Do I want that in the sauce, onion. though, or as a pizza topping? Onions as pizza topping? I mean, I can yeah, see I it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onions yeah on pizza. Always. I, guess... I, will, I will say, out of character, anytime I've ever made sauce, I put onions in it, but that's... Just... Yeah. Same, that's but same. I also, I do like onions as a topping as well. Yeah. Purse. Same. I'm <laughs> a big fan of onions. Same. We're trying to make this special, you know, because everyone doubted me. Hmm. We'll chop up oh, yeah, some you have, onions. You have a pineapple nice as well. Pine. We don't touch that pineapple. <laughs> Just to add tension. <laughs> pineapple for yeah. tension. No, 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 no. Yep. Maybe for dessert, not for the pizza. So, uh, we'll chop up an onion nice and finely, and we'll, we'll throw it into our sauce. We'll get that heated up on whatever type of heating device we have. This is such a weird. It's a it's a it's a fire pit. Stove. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll this put the sauce weird, over like... that. Let it like you know simmer or do its thing. Cool. Maybe we'll pour a splash of rum in there too for flavor. Yeah. You know. Yep. Um, make a dexterity so check. Going. Oh no. This better not be where I fail. I got this. We're fine. Yeah, the rum flares up for a moment, but you keep your distance. Yes, nice. This is okay. flambeing it, is what I believe they <laughs> yep. call that. <laughs> this is. So... <laughs> Can I like leave the sauce there to like continue heating up? Sure. Or will it die? It's okay. such a weird purgatory we're in right now of Kayla <laughs> on on her cooking show in the middle of D and D. Yep. <laughs> like. <It's funny. laughs> In my mind, I'm actually thinking of the thing that she left out that's probably going to make this not work, but I don't know if Zyla's going to think of that I also. Have... But... I really haven't been caring too much. I'd love to hear it, though. <laughs> I'm oh, trying, God. okay? I if, I, if I was actually making this in real life, I would have put water in it as well. That's why I asked at the beginning. Just the tomatoes. The <laughs> yeah, because the tomatoes have a good amount of moisture in them. Yeah. But for them to act, for them to actually kind of like reduce and break down and stuff, That's why you probably I added need the rum. like. I was gonna say, but then you added rum, so there is sure. some extra liquid in there. I plan yeah. to add liquid. Does, it, does it get alcohol liquid? break it down further than needed, though? Like, I don't know. We're this is gonna too find tight. out. Um, Depends on the amount, I suppose. All right, so now that we're getting the tomato sauce, all right, what what kind of cheese are we working with? We have a like brick of parmesan. Yeah, block of hard cheese. All right, so I'm gonna go over to my pal Georgie. I'm gonna right. be like Georgie. Mm -hmm. You gotta wash those hands. You gotta do a little bit better than. Here's some rum. Here's some soap. Yeah. People are asking about this in chat. And just... <laughs> Just to confirm, Alexander does only have one arm right yes. now, right? Okay. Yeah. This is why so, George yeah, is coming arm, for help. That's people are saying the arm grew back. The arm did not grow back. No, like, when Alexander doesn't have a gator nub there, like there's, no. I think he's back to his like human normal nub. human nub. This is why I'm getting help. Um, mm -hmm. So I got Georgie washing his hands, you know. Are, are they clean? Let, let's do the sniff test. Possible. I, I want to smell them, too. <laughs> Roll a d20. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not again. All right. All right. So, the pungent right. smell of rum. I grab the block of cheese, mm -hmm. and I put it on the counter. What do I have to grate this? Knives. All right. So, Georgie, I'm going to need real thin slices of this. Can you do that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Real thin slices. Real thin slices. I want, like, like this. Uh, you know? Like, parchment thin? It doesn't have to be parchment thin. I mean, we're going to put it on a pizza. But, like, as thin as you can get it without hurting yourself. Right. 
So I'll leave him to that. I'm gonna go check on my sauce, give it a little mixy mix. And then I'll go back to my dough, which is probably... Georgie. I'm, I'm doing it more so it gets thinner. Okay. I don't, to be fair, I don't think you can mess up cheese. Um. <laughs> would say, would that roll just from my guess? If there, are, if there is a way you could mess up cheese, he's doing it right yeah. now. <laughs> How bad is he messing? Do I notice? It's more of a crumble texture than a so. Either way, I guess it'll work. It could work still. I don't know if I've ever had crumbly pizza, you know. It... You never know. All right, while well, he's doing things. that, uh, I'm gonna, you know, check on my sauce, give it a little mix, go back over to my dough, check on it. If it's risen, we're gonna flatten it out as much as I can with my one arm, you know, need Kayleen a little doing. bit more. Your other sous chef. Is she here? <laughs> yeah, she's just watching. Oh. Hey, Kayleen. <laughs> yeah? You said you, you worked with uh, food and stuff. Do you want to help me out? Roll out this pizza dough? Yeah, I got it. Cool. I'm going to go back over to my sauce. Alright. The dough is laid out. The sauce is looking good. The cheese is crumbled up. Moment of truth. We're putting it all together. What, what role do I make for baking pizza? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's survival. What, uh, no, like cooking would be like, what, like, would it be like... Partially uh, intelligence, partially uh, something else, partially wisdom. Um, performance? This is a performance. Oh. Yeah, it's give me a performance. Give me a right. performance. You have advantage for your lovely description cool. and several successful roles throughout the whole oh. process. <laughs> what a great role. This is gonna be the best pizza y'all have ever had. Man, it's <laughs> such a shame Boomer and Pierre aren't here. Oh, and those other three. Yeah, those other ones too. Oh, and who else was there? Yeah, the the, the singer guy, yeah. Or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Yeah, you I think I I prefer the first guy who got who got it off than him. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, you managed to get a pretty convincing deep dish pizza from the Great Lakes surrounding Chicago. Ah, oh. great. Can't wait for everyone to try my pizza. Yeah. So you now have pizza. Is that, is that one pizza enough for the whole crew? It's a fairly big pizza. It's real deep. I was going to say, I think we'd make a decent sized one. I, I, we're, we're like a crew of 30 people. I don't know. Can I chop oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's not enough for 30. But, sure. Turns a out the pineapple's like milk. dehydrated, though. Oh. I don't know why Pierre just dehydrated a pineapple. Do I need to make another Make it last pizza? longer. I can make another one. Okay. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> while while pizza's being made, is anyone else doing anything? <laughs> um, is um, there actually? Can we smell this cooking? Even though we're like outside. <laughs> if you even step near the uh, way down to the lower decks, the aroma just hits you. Is it good aroma or it's not? It's a good aroma. When it's a when you walk past a pizza shop aroma. The so Wiley is probably if... just like, what does he? If for him, it's actually unfamiliar. Yeah, of course it'd be like, what's a pizza to us? You do, know? You, do you smell that? What does that smell? That smelly smell. That smells smelly in a good way. It does smell. Go Wait. You don't think. <laughs> Do you Maybe. think Alexander is actually cooking something edible? I don't see why not. Dare Probably. I say, 
good? Only one way to find out, Wiley, isn't there? He does this, he's like, he has both knives out. Well, you're tasting it first. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Wiley maybe even pops his head in the kitchen. He's like, so, uh, what you got cooking? It's a surprise. Smells good, doesn't it? No, I didn't say that. Nor would I say that. I'm sure you wouldn't. It's just, you know. If I did say that, hypothetically speaking, of course. When do you think it'd be ready? Could be any moment now. Okay, while he's still Good squinting his eyes, kind of backs out of the room. Alright, in time, you finish making your pizzas. And, uh, yeah, they're sitting before you. Do we have any, like, candles or anything? Sure. I want to set up the dining area like all nice. Get some candles lit. Pizza on each table. Already pre-cut into nice little slices. Well, there's not too much of a dining area, but... There's probably like a table yeah, there's some A some couple of tables, so... Yeah! Don't imagine see, we don't uh, stand there. Mm-hmm. Burb does not come down. You see Burb sitting on the edge of her Burb's nest eating her bear. <laughs> She's not going anywhere near any of that. She's just not trusted. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Never seen a bird eat a pizza before. Bird eat a pizza. No, Never she's just that. eating her magical I berries. I have way too many times. Oh. I have two actually. Seagulls. I was gonna Seagulls. say, if you ever go to the yeah. beach Seagulls. on Long Island, Island. Listen, those are flying rats. Those are not birds. <laughs> and they're <laughs> aggressive. They are aggressive. There's like a hot dog spot like near the beach near me where you get hooked and they will fly down and like steal a hot dog like off your table. Like right when you're, if you just like stop paying attention to it. Steal a bag of chips, like a full (laughs) bag of chips. It was crazy. One time I saw when I was working, there was uh, one of them albatrosses, the real big boys. Oh yeah. Entire garbage bag. Carried it away. (laughs) It wasn't a full garbage bag, but it was at least like five to ten pounds of stuff in there. It seemed like you know, maybe not <laughs> pounds, right. but it was a He's pretty full, with a good, full good enough hole. to be insanely crazy to see. <laughs> I don't even know how much food was in it, but he got the bag, and then spilled mm. it over the ground, and I cleaned it up. But you know, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, there's now pizza. Your sous chefs help carry it over to the tables. Georgie helps slice it up. What, sir? Well, Edward Edward's happy. He smells something nice and he wants to eat it. So, you know, he scoots right on up. Like, Wiley's like, sitting right next to him, attentive, like just staring at him, waiting for the verdict. So? Is Edward so, lactose how is it? Is, is Edward lactose intolerant? Is that, what, is that what you just asked? I don't think he is. He just starts getting Roll sick and Wiley's Wiley. like, it's poison. It's Roll poison. for constitution <laughs> to see if you're lactose yeah. intolerant. Constitution yeah. check, don't roll a one. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'll... You know what? Hold on. He's not. Okay. He's not. I was gonna go two, yeah. One, oh, no. 50-50, all right. <laughs> yeah, <it was> you. <laughs> I did that before I did a 50-50 with the bottle. I'm like, if I mm-hmm. if I rolled a one, I would have held on to the bottle. Yeah. If I roll a two, I throw it over the edge. Yep. <laughs> Those are always fun to make decisions. Coin toss, essentially. Okay. Not lactose intolerant. Oh, right. Takes a bite of it. It's delicious pizza. Cheesy. Mm-hmm. Might not be what we traditionally think of of like pizza spices and all that, but you know it's it's definitely We're pizza. Also, and... pirates. How many times mm-hmm. have we eaten pizza? Yeah, in like our from life? your perspective, it's just good. We can be known as the pizza pirates now. Oh my gosh! How how is it, Captain? Has he so what do you tasted think, it yet? Is it like Captain 
Captain Edward gives it this, uh, this nice little, he, he gives it this side eye, like, hmm. <laughs> it's different. And I like different. You know what? This is so different that he folds it in half like a taco. <laughs> Take this is deep dish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, how's that gonna work? All right, he's really getting into it. Mm. Right. Really, just holds it. He just bites. <laughs> you got a big oh. piece, I guess. <laughs> really, really good. beautiful. This great person in chat who was helping decide the role was like, "Hey, I'm from Chicago and Italian. I know how to do D and D rolls for pizza." <laughs> so. uh, Listen, this isn't the first time. I was born for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I trust them. Is Wiley lactose intolerant? Oh, gosh. Mm. His stomach might just be a tank, because this dude eats pocket meat. But Dude, yeah. like, cool. imagine, imagine milk milk or dairy is what does him does in. Nope, nope, he's not. He's iron stomach. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I probably take a snip, look at Alexander, take a bite, and I guess, I mean, you would kind of tell me this, Zylo, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this when I bite into it? Um, if where you would you rate guess. pocket meat? It's like, <laughs> pocket meat is like a 1, this is where like a 9. Where would you rate that? Okay, oh. Come next to pocket meat, this is, this is like amazing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, immaculate. <laughs> Heaven sent. I probably take a couple of bites. I swallow. Is Alexander looking at me as I take yeah, a bite? Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's just smiling, going. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right. I, I actually, I actually Wiley. punch Wiley in the shoulder. <laughs> Tell him the truth. It's, it's like really all right. Like a lot, all right. He means it's wonderful. He, he loves it. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's great, it really. It never. What do you call this? Okay, okay, it's really good. Where, where's Burb? Burb's got to taste this. I call. What do it you call this, Alexander? Pizza. Pizza. He's a what? what a stupid name for a food. Really? You don't think you're gonna come up with something better? Pizza. Pizza what? Pizza What's a pizza? Food. Oh, pizza food. Okay. All okay, right. That I guess. makes sense. Pizza food. Yeah, hey, it makes oh. sense. Pizza for sure. Okay, pizza hold on. Sure. What? Okay, Burb's got no, to us. I'll be right back. And I go out on the deck and I yell up, Burb! <laughs> She's really not going to come down. Are you coming <laughs> to eat the food? <laughs> you don't get a response. I come it's out. Fun. I come out too. I'm like holding, holding what was left of that little... That piece is like, <laughs> Alexander made pizza. <laughs> I just completely butcher. You like, don't. You should come down and try some of this pizzazz. It's really, it's really good. <laughs> I thought this about is gonna go crazy, Herb, and it's gonna be the last thing you'd ever expect to hear from me. But. I can't even believe I'm saying this. Alexander actually made delicious food. You do have the slight taste of rum in the crust as well. Oh, beautiful. Uh, the, the flavor the flavor profile has just changed from that. <laughs> and you know how I feel about Alexander, so that coming from me should say something. Is Burb lactose and thought. <laughs> Burb, can you roll a Burb. perception check for me? Who, me? me? Yeah, Burb. Kaylee. Burb, all right. Burb wouldn't be lactose. They've survived in the wild for too long to just deal with that. Yeah, I'm not forcing lactose intolerant rolls here. Uh, perception. But for certain characters, it would be funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you just see them flailing around bits of pizza, shouting from down below. Burb ignores them. She does not care. She doesn't care oh. if it's the best tasting food in the world. She's not taking anything from but, Alexander. So um, so she doesn't respond. So like from our perspective, after a minute or two, we just kind of get still get no response, right? Yeah. We've just made someone in chat hungry. Well, so it's gonna be like, <laughs> more than okay, more fine, more for us then. And I go walk back into where the food is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you guys get some of your pizzazz. You have a good time there. Delicious food. The crew is pretty happy about the whole situation. Um, I don't know if anyone's steering the boat anymore, but the pizza's good. So I raise a glass of water, <laughs> not rum, water. Like I just raise a glass. I'm like, and who here doubted Alexander? And I just look directly. I look directly at. You Wiley, know what? And he does up. make a pretty good uh, chef, cannoneer, navigator. I mean, I kind of doubted Gator. him as well. Who, who's navigating right now? I navigated. You, you know, it's, it's not no. something you just. It's not yeah. you don't. You don't. Yeah, it is. You don't just hit it I and quit it. It's like it's a thing you. Steers. You don't hit it and quit it. <laughs> <Who's the steerer? laughs> You don't hit it and quit it. I can <laughs> no. Who is steering right now? It's, hey, it's, do we have it's a helm dagger. Steer? It's is dagger. It dagger. You can check. No one. You don't know of anyone who would be. Everyone's enjoying pizza right now. Uh oh. Bad. Wiley goes to look at the wheel and see if there's anybody standing there. There's not. But you do see the wheel all turned all the way to one side with like oh, a board put up against circle? it. <laughs> Have we been sailing in a circle? I think that's what While, uh, is Edward standing here too? Did he does he see this? Uh, I woke up right behind you. I just probably great, don't even look at you. I'm just staling, staling at the staring at the wheel and the board and yeah. I just go, best navigator, huh? <laughs> I'm just holding my glass of water. I'll just put it down, like my tankard of water. I'm just like, well, no wonder we've been slanted this entire time. No wonder my my. No wonder the plate kept sliding slightly to the left. You know what? I honestly just thought the rum was kicking in, but yeah, I have been feeling the sort of equilibrium, like my have... balance is off. This actually make up. Mm. Uh, uh, Alexander, what? what? Uh, could you come uh, to the to the wheel, please? Yes, just let me get a slice of pizza. You get your pizza. Your sous chef's offer to clean up wholeheartedly. Please do. <laughs> and then I go up deck. Yep. Um. So uh, points at like the board holding the wheel. Where did you learn this particular uh, style oh, that, of navigation? That right there is what I call a placeholder. And why do you call it that? <laughs> Alexander, can it you make holds... me a investigation check? Did I not put the board there? No, you didn't. Wait. Are you talking about that there board? No, I'm talking about the magical kraken that's floating above that. Of course I'm talking about Where? the board. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's so. Um, I have no idea. Did you put that there? Do you think I'd be accusing you of doing it if I did? Actually, that is totally something I would do. But no, that's of course I didn't put do. it there. I, no, no, it wasn't me. That's why I, I just... Have we been? Do we have any idea where, how long this has been here, or what direction we've been going for um, for that amount of time? And can I like check out what direct? Well, I guess we're just going in a circle, right? It's currently pointed west. What way did Drifting we need to go? Northwards. Your course was set south. Yeah. yeah so it's totally. You see the compass just slowly going. You're going in a circle. We're going the wrong way. Do I have a spyglass? Does like Wiley have one? Yeah, sure. I want to look over the shore and see if I see the British fort anywhere in our view. Right, make a perception check. <laughs> How funny would it be <laughs> if we so all the fort We're like a mile away. <laughs> the fort. We've just been circling the fort for a whole day. That'd be very. Yeah, you're just around. circling, sir. 
look around to each side, you don't see land in any of the directions. Okay. No lights from where the fort would be. Nope. <laughs> oh, who, who is, who is at the helm? Who's in charge of being, who, who's it? Who did this? Maybe ask Burb. Yeah, She's on lookout duty. In the meantime, I guess I'll get us back on track and I'll stay here. Just so this doesn't happen again. Cheers, mateys. Please do. Like, Edward's kind of looking impatient with his smile on his face. It's like, whole day. Whole day of... Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Wonderful. But... Uh, so so, somebody did this. We have to find out who did it. It's not too hard. Who was supposed to be here? Do we have like uh, a of an official helmsman on the ship? I don't remember. You did. You did. We, we used who, to. Who was it? Red shirt number three. Red shirt. Oh, really? <laughs> so, potentially he's the one who put the board there as a placeholder? <laughs> no, because I, I navigated. <laughs> I, set our, I set our track. Someone else bamboozled us. Okay, now Alexander, when when you set course, uh -huh. who who was on the wheel? Who was on the helm? Do I have an answer for that, or what? If just a there's usually a guy standing up there. Never bothered to ask his name. But... Oh. Yeah, there, there's just that the the one guy with the the hair and the clothes, you know. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. The hair and the clothes. Cheryl Crow, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not not them. I'm actually not even being sarcastic. I think it's actually funnier that Wiley knows who exactly who you're talking about by that description. Oh yeah, hair and clothes guy. Everybody knows hair and clothes guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hair and clothes guy. His clothes are made out of his hair. Did we? Did we see him when we were eating the pizzah? Did we? Yeah, no. did we see him? Huh. Maybe he took a nap. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe maybe he had the boat set on the right track. And uh, he, he had it, you know, uh, held with the board and, and it slipped. You know, accidents happen. What? This, this cannot go unchecked. As first mate of this crew, don't worry, Captain. I'll take care of this insubordination. I'm also first mate. You want some backup? Listen, Edward just nope. he takes his tanker <laughs> and he off. just sips. I guess I do have to re-navigate. Edward and Wiley, can you give me a intelligence check? Wiley, you have advantage because you know this guy really well. <laughs> Still better than his, mm -hmm. his better. Yeah, you remember I seeing the go... hair and shirt guy? Um, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to show them up real quick. <laughs> no, never mind. Uh -huh. yeah. You particularly remember him getting on a dinghy to go to the British fort and never coming back. <laughs> he was one of the. Uh, Me, hostages. I remember. Ooh. Uh, Kayla, rem Alexander I wasn't remembers. trying Red to shirt. remember. I just <laughs> wanted to show that I... But yeah, you also think you remember it. Wiley. Mm. Wait a second. Hair and shirt guy... Isn't he the one I said goodbye to? Whose name I couldn't remember and I called him you? I think it was. Wait, how could he have been the one who was on the wheel if he had already wasn't. gone to shore? Alexander, are you remembering correctly? Are we talking about the same hair and shirt guy? You know, Wiley, I've just been working so hard all day doing all these different jobs. I I don't know. You really got a sandwich! <laughs> well, we How do you know that? <laughs> I can only assume. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say it's what that means. I'm right. Well, doesn't it? Ha! Caught you. I did say it's what it's what it's what Alexander usually does. I guess I set that up at the beginning. I would be surprised if Alexander was eating a sandwich. Peanut butter, no jelly. We don't like jelly in this household. Only on toast. Wait, we have processed peanuts here. 
Yeah, you know weird. what? Just okay. get us back on course. I'm going to take care of this. And Wiley goes to go back into the room where the rest of the crew is, where he wants to make an announcement and ask if anybody remembers who was on the helm and see if, if, he, if he can get anybody to fess up to just, like, putting a board there. All right. Yeah, so there's some people still gathered around the pizza. Easy enough to get a crowd. I'd like to make a quick announcement. As first mate of this ship, I am, um, I'm currently conducting an investigation. Who was the last person on the helm? And who decided it was a good idea to just prop a board up against the wheel to sort of keep it in place? No one seems to speak up right away. People awkwardly hold pizza and look at you. All right, that's the answer I uh, expected. Let me just say, if you come forward now and admit it, I will keep the punishment light. But if I find out after the fact that it was you, well, you are going to regret not telling me the truth in the first place. Make a persuasion or intelligence check or, um, or a decept. What's the word? Intimidation. Intimidation? Yes. yes. Yeah, a lot of them look at each other like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right away. I, I didn't see it, though. Uh, so nobody? Who would have done that? Who would have just propped up a thing against the wheel? Okay. But, but back to eating your bazaar. I don't want to to ruin everybody's meal, but just know, I have got my eye on all of you. Okay. Whitey once again tries to back away without breaking eye contact with the room. Can I do a dexterity check to see if I do this slickly oh, or yeah, stupidly? Sure. <laughs> he backs into the wall as he's <laughs> trying to back out the door and mm -hmm. kind of almost trips. One of the lanterns almost tips off, you catch it. Yeah. <laughs> but he tries to recover and like stay mm -hmm. cool looking, but but it doesn't work at all. And he awkwardly a backs after, up. After Wiley exits and, and and Edward just watches him leave the room, he looks back at every everybody uh, in the hall, takes out a knife, and flings it against the wall. <laughs> flings it against the wall. He's like, I'll have you all know. Before I was a member of this crew, I dabbled in a bit of torture techniques, extracting information. I would hate to have to get it out of someone. So if you are, <clears throat> I would be even worse than the person who did it. So if you have any information, that'd be fine by me if you were to come and tell me. Usually I'm such a welcoming soul, so happy to see you and wonderful. But if you're a detriment to this crew, you're a detriment to me and you're a detriment to my family. And no one crosses my family. I think it's safe to say everyone's still thoroughly intimidated. If you'd like to make an insight check to see if you can read anything on anyone's faces, go for it. Ooh. All right. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I've been zoned out for like the past 15 minutes and I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. <laughs> you just, you just toned back into like, yeah, and we're threatening people with torture. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Wait, no. Edward's gonna torture what a crew? Happening? What? Wait, how is, like, what is happening? Torture? What did somebody do? What is happening? Listen, listen. Edward knows how to block. Okay. What am I happening? Why is Yeah, you see a lot that? of the crew look real shook. You know, Torvin, probably most of all, he looks real nervous. And you see Goldie kind of just, like, walk out the other direction as you're saying all this. Wonderful. Verb's just been doing lookout. So. Oh, and I also say, horses aren't excluded from this. <laughs> and, he, and he walks out. Carol he drops a piece of pizza it, crust it, out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he so why was... Out. 
Why was everyone getting threatened? Because someone, someone... someone messed with our navigation. Yeah, they oh, sabotaged our the navigation. The board and the navigation. We've been going in a circle mm -hmm. for all day. Yeah, pretty much. Uh -huh. Since Yikes. the last time Alexander like navigated, yep. we've been going in a circle. Uh, I see, I see. <laughs> Burb, you want to give Brian. me another perception check? <laughs> While you're up there just looking around. Yeah, I've just been keeping an mm. eye out. You hear a sure thunk down below as a dagger sticks into the wall below deck. Burb's not been paying attention to the threatening, but down below. Mm -hmm. He's been keeping an eye out. <laughs> you Slowly. do see... Um, looks to be a very shady looking Goldie, um, walk, uh, up from below deck and kind of like walk to the edge of the boat and lean over the side for a second. It looks I, like, like, watch him. He seems kind of sus. He reaches into his coat, grabs something, drops it in the water. I can't uh, see what he did. He dropped. No, not particularly. He's facing the other way. Mm, but he did drop something. Mm -hmm. He then very noticeably like looks around, making sure no one saw him. And then uh, steps uh, back onto the main part of the ship, tries to look casual. Burb? Now, Burb is debating whether she wants to actually get down and go tell somebody about this. On one hand, that was real shifty. On the other hand, social interactions. True. So she's at a bit of a dilemma here. Do Bane I want to go socially interact? Or do I want to, you know, snitch on the boy? I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> Burb, yeah, do what everyone else has been doing. Roll a d2. <laughs> Is Burb the third imposter? <laughs> Burb's the third imposter. Um... How do I? It's, it's social awkward flash, when I accidentally roll. make a game into the Among Us episode. Uh, there's, been, there's an imposter. <laughs> there's a sabotage going on. All right. Through. One is I'm going to I'm going Georgie's to snitch. Doing tasks. Uh, oh two. W one is I'm going to go snitch. Two is I'm not going to because I'm a coward. All right. Did I get that right? Did I do it right? All right. I'm going to snitch. Burb goes down the ladder. All right. And goes to search for Edward. Edward actually slipped back into the uh, the, the the room where everyone was eating just to retrieve the dagger. Yep, of course. And as he was doing so, he still maintained eye contact. <laughs> Regains eye contact. Specifically, <laughs> specifically with Chorvin for some mm -hmm. reason. Just for fun, can we say as you walk up, Herb, you probably see Wiley talking to Edward and the part of the conversation you hear as you walk up is like, well, if no one should fess up to it, we should probably just blame Alexander. He's in charge of nav navigation. So, you know, and somebody's got to take the fall for this, Captain. Oh, oh hi, Burb. Like, Wiley, I don't think Alexander is, you know, competent enough to, to of, of like, a, a saboteur. Do that. Burb's giving giving them an incredulous stare, like what? Yeah, Mom's just talking about pinning all of our troubles on Alexander. What are you up to? We're not losing another chef. That's true. That's true. Wait, Burb, did you didn't you hear us before? Did did you taste the pizza? No. You should. Pretty good. No. Pretty good. No. You. I Golden swear you're missing Burb. Look me in the eye, Burb. You know how I feel about Alexander. <laughs> when you say, look at me in the eye, Burb looks down at her feet. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's about as good as I'm going to get. Just, you know how I feel about Alexander. And I'm telling you the food's good. I have no... That's... What? She, she, she kind of, like, shuffles on her feet a little bit. <laughs> like, look... Looks a little bit nervous. She's like, I saw Goldie being suspicious. He, mm. he dropped something in the water. Did he Just drop something? I should let you know. Hmm. Interesting. 
He was being You know what, Wiley? I think we might have found our saboteur, Captain. Wiley, I'm going to ask you something real quick, if you'll do me a favor. Oh, of course. What? Do you mind grabbing some rope? Do you remember what uh, the Pirate King did to you? I remember it fondly. Why don't we follow <laughs> an example? With that, Burb walks away and goes back to her. She's like, I'm not, I'm not getting I want no part of what I I want nothing in this. Do. I did my job. <laughs> I, I, I snitched. I'm not, I'm not any more part of this. <laughs> that was my social interaction for the night. <laughs> Wiley's no just like, okay, I'll, I'll be right back, Captain. And he goes to run and grab some rope. He also, um, where's Georgie right now? Is he cleaning up after the food or whatever? Mm -hmm. Is Alexander by himself at the helm right now? Yes. Um, as he's going to grab a rope, Mev pops his head, Mev, Wiley Hi. pops his head <laughs> into where everyone's <laughs> eating and finds Georgie and he's like, Georgie, come with me. Right. So I bring the bucket. Hey. Sure, whatever makes you comfortable. Right. I go and grab the rope, and then we go back to the helm where Alexander is. Georgie, I need you to hold the wheel. Make sure we keep going straight. We're going the right direction, aren't we, Alexander? Yes. Awesome. Come with me. You're going to love this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but here we go. Running back <laughs> to join Edward. I guess I can't clap. Can I do this instead of clap now? You most certainly can. Clap. I just smack my face. You can. I thought you were going to start doing this. <laughs> Plenty of ways to clap. <laughs> I'd like to call a, um, a crew meeting. Everyone needs to be accounted for. Does Burb have to be there? Burb has to be there. Burb, Burb did you there. try my pizza? It's, 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 Everyone it's, it's, has to be there. Burb on the deck. The Burb sits on the rope. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> I'm taking my tally of everyone that shows up. I'm just doing this uh, on the deck. Standing up uh, on the steps so you can look down on everyone. Yeah, that, basically because I'm five foot four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking tally of everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, Making Bird, sure Bird goes shows down up. and stands next to Dave, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ask for everyone to show up. Um, takes a little bit of time for some people, but eventually all the crew is accounted for on deck. Mm -hmm. What are we here for, Captain? Well, seems my little threat earlier wasn't really taken to heart I feel like we have some new recruits that uh, don't exactly know how serious I can get whenever <laughs> I make certain statements so to ascertain that and uh, I guess make an example Wiley Hey, Captain. Do you mind tossing the rope you got me over the yard arm real quick? See if you can't toss it on up there real quick. Uh, absolutely! Do I do that? Do I do an athletics check or something to see if I do this successfully? Or are you just going to let this roll? <laughs> sure, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Good toss. Nice. Okay. All right. Well. You see... Someone on this ship has been dishonest. Been acting kind of strange lately. And it's uh, been brought to my attention that, uh... Goldie! I didn't eat anyone! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not yet, you didn't. <laughs> and I probably, as he says Goldie, you would hear... Wily, just like the click of his flintlock pointing right mm. at Goldie. You see him just like freeze up for a moment. 
And he just like looks around at the rest of the crew as they kind of like slowly turn towards him. <laughs> Come here. Come here, goalie. Of course, Captain. How can I be of service to you? Now, I'm not angry. I'm not, you know, I'm not angry at you. I didn't single you out because I was angry at you, Goldie. I'm just kind of disappointed. Disappointed how, Captain? At that point, Edward drops his smile. Hmm. Just to show you how serious I am, Goldie, this is nothing against you personally. This is to make a, this known to everyone that I am a captain of this ship. And I am in charge of everyone on this ship. So, hey Dave, you come here too. Yeah, on my way. What do you need? Did I do something? No, I'm just, I'm just gonna need you to do something for me. And, uh, of course, and, uh, and, uh, Edward, Edward takes, uh, a hold of Goldie's wrist and says, tie these behind his, tie, tie his hands behind his back, won't you? I think he's gonna try to shake free of you there. So, uh, give me oh, a strength check Wiley, against him. Wily points you... his gun to just to intimidate, mm -hmm. try to a, convince him, oh, don't be struggling. I wrap my arms around him. I got one, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he breaks free. <laughs> We can talk about this. We don't need to do anything crazy. What is it you need to know? No. Now Edward kind of like, I guess, brandishes the fact that he's wearing a coat uh -huh. that has multiple knives inside of it. And he says, Goldie, we can do this the easy way, the hard way, every way till Sunday. You most certainly can, but I don't know if you know which one the hard way will be for. <laughs> he reaches I mean, and, like, puts his hand on his own dagger. Now, what You're sure you want to be doing that? You, you know, I'm uh, the fastest <laughs> pistol on the seven seas, and I never miss. Goldie, you can come clean to us at any point. If you must know. Yes, I've been using some of the ship's bottles. The bottles? Mm. Even messages. You see, when we left oh, the port, a... had to leave a loved one behind. She's sick, you see. You... Goldie. Inside check. You've been leaving... You've been... Dropping I'm bottles and see if he's lying about that. Yet we've been sailing in a circle. It's not my fault you're sailing we're, in we're... a circle. That'll be up to the navigator. Can't read him at all. Man. Seems to be speaking honestly. But he was so suspicious. Who do those... Who do those cups belong to, Goldie? Who do the what? The bottles. Those bottles belong to. The bottles belong to the ship. So, I guess throwing property off the ship. I'm willing to have my wage split for them. Take it out. How about this, Goldie? I won't hang you from the rafters by your arms behind your back. And you can spend the next two nights in the brig. Sound fair? Much rather stay out here, thanks. 
<laughs> I know you would. I'd rather you not. So it's your word against mine. Whose do you think carries more weight? Sure, if you want, I could walk down to the brig right now. Wiley, make sure your your pistol's loaded. Why don't you take him down there? Uh, all right. Wiley goes to shoot in the air. <laughs> it clicks because it's not loaded. I, just give me one second, <laughs> Captain. And I uh, go to load my... Uh, yeah, I do. If I'm being honest, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't concerned when Wiley was pointing the gun. I was like, <laughs> "It's not loaded." I, I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. It was a test. You all passed. Suddenly, the oh, handy has his dagger on, unsheathes his dagger, and holds it out, and then just drops it on the ground. Visibly upset, Edward's like, "What are you doing? Why are you just dropping a dagger on the? That is ruining the cut of the dagger." Trip it to you, Captain. Listen. I guess you guys should be checking him for weapons. You could have just given it to me. Like, you didn't have to drop it. It's all yours. Visibly upset. He's upset because you just... I could take it back if you want. <laughs> no. You've already upset me enough. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It is fine, Goldie. It's fine. Hmm. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but... I'm not same time very well like I said it's not personal I'm just trying to wall off every avenue okay don't worry you'll still get your meals you just won't have to do anything if anything it should be heaven said for you it's the worst torture I could possibly imagine <laughs> not doing anything for Georgie <laughs> Georgie uh, like you torture. know what, Georgie, can you... Georgie, don't worry about cleaning uh, out the Briggs uh, buckets for the next two days. Ew. But that's like his one job. That, Prison with that, bucket cleaning. Mm -hmm. Only the one. Only the one bucket. <laughs> Just ignore the one. But that's his favorite thing to do. Ew. Yeah, just say <laughs> his favorite thing. Don't get constipated down there. Okay. Shoo. He nods before Why he keeps wild. his hands in the air and like steps backwards and turns around. Starts walking towards the brig. And I guess Wiley's ex escorting him. Mm -hmm. And I just an I just say out loud. Pistol. I I say out loud. I'm like, this is the lightest offense that you could get off on. A day or two in the brig, right? Sure, it doesn't sound that bad, right? But it can get much worse. My patience... <laughs> I like to think I have the patience of a saint, but... <sighs> Crew... I am relying on you to help me help you. The moment you can't, you can no longer help me help you is the moment I either reform you or you walk the plank. Not just regular walking the plank, I'll chum the water, waters first. Everything sound good. No, no <laughs> mutinies I'm hoping is being planned now. I, I do well to quell those. Crew just silently nods. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Everything sounds Not great, again. Captain. Except we lost someone. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, my Discord's been really weird. It keeps crashing. It's, yeah, it's been, doing, it's been doing that. It's really weird. But no. it's like, good. I hope to never have to make this kind of public hearing ever again. I don't want to do this to you all. You're all my family. I try to treat you all as fairly and nice as I can. 
But I will be serious for you, and I will prote protect you all. You just have to help me help you. Okay. Fine. You guys can go back to your duties. Far go back and enjoy the rest of your food. Whatever. Whatever you have left. Actually, uh, before Burb goes up her bird's nest, like as everyone's like scattering, you know, walking away, Burb walks up to Edward. Mm -hmm. She gives him a little pat on the, on the shoulder. The frowning, the frowning captain looks up. And then she gives him a feather. S smiles once more and grabs the feather. This is my second feather, if I'm not mistaken. Um. I believe that the last time you gave me a feather was when he was really sad. Yeah. I think this is oh, my second one. Wholesome burp moment overload today. <laughs> Edward really smiles, nods his head. It's like, I just want to do what's best. I don't want to actually be that hard on people. She, she nods her head. Sometimes she got to. She nods her head. She's like, I understand. But she's not saying I understand. She just nods her head. With agreement. <laughs> Edward's plan is that hopefully, while Goldie un is under suspicion, that uh, if anything happens or continues to happen in the next two days while Goldie is locked up, then it wasn't Goldie, and Goldie's clear of suspicion. So. Yeah. She gives she gives Edward another pat on the shoulder and then goes back to the burp's nest. Keep watch. Wonderful. Good. I'm glad. Wonderful. Hmm. All right. Crew Is Georgie just standing duties. there like... Oh, no. The what? second you said you guys can get back to your duties, he went off. Okay. <laughs> he went to go okay. clean. Mm -hmm. His duties. His duties. Wonderful. Oh, man. And yeah, so. That's fun. This guy's taken below deck, put into the brig. You guys uh, managed to get yourself a nice rest. Anyone doing anything else as the night winds down? Steering the ship. Just keeping an eye out. Why don't you do anything with the uh, prisoner? I just, I, I put him in and. I say, like, Should somebody be guarding. Were him? you really trying to just send messages to your loved one? That was all you were doing. Of course, that was all I was doing. Is he lying to me? <laughs> Give me an insight, insight check. check. What's his? What's your vibe check on this man? A vibe, vibe check. check. Gonna be that great. Okay. Seems honest. That was a, was not that good. While he doesn't say anything, and he leaves the room, but before he goes to sleep, he goes back into the brig and he gives the man a piece of paper and a quill. Aww. And he doesn't Aww. say anything and he leaves. Such a wholesome pirates, but the wholesome moment he, wily moments. we find out he didn't give him any ink. <laughs> Can we roll to see if I gave him ink? I tried to have a moment, but Wiley would totally be stupid enough to forget, forget to give him ink. Intelligence check. Beat a 12. Oh, no, beat a so we had a nine. Oh, a check? Or a... Or That's it, good. Or yeah, it. you remembered the ink. Guys, you remembered the ink. I was going to say, it. otherwise he'd have to use his blood. <laughs> he writes to his loved one in his blood. Dear, I'm fine. This might be my blood, but it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. He probably would say, like, if you have anything else to write, I'll make sure it winds up in a bottle over port. And then he walks out. Oh, I can he takes see the that quill. Totally being used against him. Shrugs and starts writing on a piece of paper. You gotta remember to read it over. 
Oh yeah, when we read it over, I want I want to know exactly what Zola has in mind on that piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think letter. about is it's probably going to be in code. Mm. Yes, let Zylo encode a message real quick. Yep, in a love That's... letter. Yep, in, in a, a love, love letter. letter. A coded yeah. love letter on the spot. Let's go. I believe in you. All right. As the night okay. passes, can you each get me a uh, perception check? Jeez. So wow. perceptive. So I rolled We're today on alert. Has been so good. We're on can alert. We talk about it. I haven't had one bad roll. So Eddie, you're you know in your captain's quarters having a good night's rest. Um, the rest of you throughout the night hear a thunk. Um, in the lower decks, from nearby where the uh, brig would be. And it startles a few of you awake. I guess Burb might not uh, immediately do anything about it, but... Yeah, Burb wouldn't. You're a bit far from it. Well, we did leave a bucket down there. If we were a thunk, you know, I kind of don't want to figure out what that would be. I would actually probably say Wiley, having done what he just did, he would probably... in Not that he can make any... Be like, oh, he's... He's digging himself out with a quill. Like, I don't think that, but I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, what is going on? And I'd probably go right for the brick to see what the sound was. Good question, you know. Could he use a quill as a pick? I don't feel like a quill probably is that Probably not in a raw iron lock. Probably not. I think it's literally a bird's feather. <laughs> ah, whose feather? <laughs> um, but yeah, what are you guys doing? I guess I'll go investigate. Herb does not. Make sure the boat's on the right track. All right. Herb continues to make sure nothing comes their way in the night. Yeah, do I see anybody else heading towards the brig, or is it just me? I'm Edward's just in his deck, captain's quarters so at the moment. It's just you. I guess you would hear me come down, if anything, but I'll be a second. And Herb does not even make a move to go anywhere near that. <laughs> She's like, someone else will get it. Yeah, I guess Wiley goes into the brig. Alright. Pistol drawn, just to, to be safe. Is it loaded? It might still be loaded from earlier. Probably, yeah, he did yeah, fire it. Yeah, I never it, fired it, so, it, so I'm not even... Unless you're the type to unload your pistol for dramatic effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he... we'll say it's loaded, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, make a perception check down there. I don't know trouble you'd have to go to to like unload the gun like not fire it Wiley's eyes are still kind of sleepy so things are kind of fuzzy yeah <laughs> yeah um what you can tell is the uh door to the brig is open uh oh uh oh what? hello what? what did you where did you go he starts looking around. I mean, um... You see a bucket the... tipped over by the door? Oh, God. Oh. I'll have to wake up Georgie. <laughs> 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 um, in fact, because Wiley is such an idiot, before he even says anything to the captain or anything about the prisoner being missing, he goes to wake up Georgie to clean that up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, 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 Georgie! Yeah. I, I got a special job for you. Right. Um, in the brig, there's a little uh, a, a cleanup duty you, you you need to attend to. Well, Captain said don't clean up the brig for the next two days. Did did he? Leave the bucket piling. Uh, okay, well, uh, yeah, it's, um, he probably didn't anticipate the, the accident that just happened, and, um... I don't care how bad the accident was, he has one bucket. <laughs> Does Burb see any movement on the deck at all? Uh, make a perception check. Like, We're no children, no. I'm, I'm walking We're down children. The... <laughs> Ooh. Do I see? 
Anyone trying to escape oh, the I ship? Oh, I do a secret roll. You totally do. I see. You I see, start ringing the bell. You see someone skulking around. The bell starts ringing. Do I see anything? Because I was walking that way. The bell starts Make ringing! Make a uh, perception check. Especially once the bell starts ringing. Oh, nothing was immediately nothing. in your path, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't see nothing. <laughs> the bell starts ringing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess... Oh. What are you ringing the bell for, burb? Wiley will probably just... Yeah. Uh, okay, Georgie, I'll go talk to the captain. I'll confirm. Uh, you just be ready. And I leave to go mm -hmm. run for the bell. And Edward listen, so. has listened. He was, like, going through his desk. But, like polishing stuff for his dagger. And he hears the bell. He's like, <laughs> "What this time?" puts his puts his cloak on because he just taking it off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, bird. Um, about to get to the door, you know, to his cabin. You see the figure um swing a blade through the uh, ropes that are keeping the dinghy up, and the dinghy splashes down into the water next to the boat. And starts kind of slowly drifting behind it as the boat's still moving. And the figure jumps over the side. Where am I at this point? Because I did run to you the deck. You now are just the... getting up onto the Herb's deck. going to go down. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's going to go over to the edge where he is. Or whoever's there. Okay. Can I see who it is? Can I see that it's Goldie? Well, you gotta climb down all the, the whole crow's nest. So and as as he's running, Wiley's probably just like, and for the record, it wasn't me. He got the quill himself. <laughs> it was totally. <laughs> so when I get down, do I see mm -hmm. it's him? Um, you look over the edge, make a perception check. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, you look and you see the boat starting to drift behind and no one's on the boat. But, you do see a little poof of gold hair, Assassin's creeding to the side of the boat. As, um, he thinks he's hidden from everybody. He's like by the side of it though, right? He's on the side of the ship, rather. And the boat's just drifting behind. If I, if I were to say... What do I have? <laughs> what can I do here? What can I do here? If I were to, per se, I don't know, just hypothetically, gust of wind him off the side of the boat. I knew that would, that, that would probably knock him off the side of the boat. That would probably knock him off the side of the boat mm -hmm. and into the water. I assume so. Which would be bad for him. Especially since he'd be far away from the dinghy. Well, the dinghy technically isn't moving. So, mm -hmm. it's the boat. It's the ship that's moving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead. And do that. Alright. A little bit extra wind catches in the sails. The ropes start flailing around on the side of the ship. And you hear a splash as Goldie is knocked off <laughs> from his... <laughs> Clinging onto the cargo nets on side the ship, and he splashes into the water unexpectedly. Does anybody come out? I'm still just yeah, here by myself. Doing? You guys are um, all on deck. I'm on deck, and this is gonna sound crazy, but I want to hunter's mark him, if I can, from the deck. Can I see him in the water? Yeah, at this point, just when he in splashes into he... the water, he's easier to see by everyone. Not much stuff he can do sitting in the middle. I'm not of saying I'm necessarily gonna shoot him. I'm just going to be ready in case I have to. I, I look around to, to, to people who are around and like, anyone want to walk on water? I'm not going to go. Wiley would probably yell, okay, that's far enough. Why don't you bring yourself back up here on the deck? <laughs> he continues to Edward, tread water Edward as walks. the boat speeds, as the ship speeds. Yeah, that's why I was like, I was like Edward walks hell. <laughs> oh Edward yeah, that's true. Like, what is happening? What, That's why I on? said, does anybody want to walk on water? Because I'm not going mm -hmm. out. He's, he turns around and starts swimming towards the dinghy. <sighs> oh, 
Wiley Pipe uh, puts his uh, flintlock away and jumps into the water after him. Bur- I li- Burb said, I does anyone want to walk on nature? water? And he jumps in the water. I don't even know what you mean. Is that a power you can yeah, do? It's a magic. Yeah. It's a spell. I didn't even know yeah. that. I think it's very in Wiley's character. Anyone want to walk on the water? On it! <laughs> just, <laughs> yep. just we'll out. just go with that. This, <laughs> is, why, yeah. this, this, is, why, this is why Burb does not like Wiley. Because Burb's He's always dumb. one to explain their spells and abilities. Also, He's I dumb. actually, in uh, uh, out of character, I didn't know if that was Kaylee saying that or Burb saying that. No, I didn't know if your Burb character was saying, saying that. that out loud because Burb yeah. doesn't say things out loud often. No, this was one of the the one times where Burb's like, anyone want to walk up? <laughs> well, before you could even get an answer, you definitely see Wiley just go flying off the edge, swimming Am I able him. to, like, try and touch him before he hits the water? <laughs> like, I make, oh a, bad, God, say make no. a bad dash This is Wiley plants. we're talking about. Wiley yeah. face plants into the water. Just oh, yeah, just, just like, belly solid. <laughs> I, I, lo- I look at I look at uh I look at Edward. I shake my head in such disappointment and pure distaste. This is why this is why I don't like him. He wonders why I don't like him. All right. This is why I don't like him. Drop anchor. Thank you. Edward calls out the drop, drop anchor. An anchor. <laughs> and yeah, the anchor begins to drop. Turn. The chain turn begins starboard. to spin. Yeah, turn starboard. Uh. Are we gonna do one Body of those swimming? Cool turns? He's... Yeah, one of those cool turns where you just go in where the anchor drops and the, and the boat just. Yeah. You hear an audible skirt across the waves. A nice sea of thieves stall. <laughs> a nice, th- yeah. As Wiley's uh, I... frantically swimming towards the guy, his head's probably bobbing up and down under the water, and he's probably like, Whoa! Is Alex- Is Alexander on deck? Yeah. Alexander on deck. Okay. Alexander, load up a cannon. Aye, aye. I think, um... Keep it end in that direction. Oh yeah, I did lower the anchor as well. Okay. But I imagine I could do that and be back. In <laughs> I'm gonna try and get the dinghy. I've back. also started breakfast for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got the coffee brewing. It's not made with water though. It's made with rum. Hope that's okay. That's dangerous. I call it Rafi. Super <laughs> interesting there. Can someone get the dinghy? At she this like point, Goldie at... gets to the dinghy. Wiley, you swimming after it? Yup. Get back here, you scoundrel! To think I trusted you! In theory, I guess it would have been better if I got in the water, because I can turn into an alligator, I think. <laughs> but... Of course it would have been better if you did it, which is why I am in the water. <laughs> Makes sense. How far, away would you, how far away would you say they are? <laughs> A couple. From us? And I guess, like... Thousand feet or so. They like right now. next. Thousand feet. I thought they were yeah. like right how next. To how the far boat. am I away yeah, from the, the dinghy? The, the ship's boat's moving, moving forward. So. Yeah, wasn't Goldie like launched across? Mm-hmm. And the dinghy was like right next to the boat, wasn't it? A little bit. Yeah, but the dinghy was also not yeah. moving while the ship was moving. So. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, so he was like I'll... not more than a hundred feet away from the dinghy at that point. How far away would you say I am from the dinghy as I'm swimming towards him? A couple hundred feet. Do I... Am I gaining on him? Uh, well, he just got into the dinghy, so it's hard to say. Oh, so he hasn't, he hasn't not currently really moving, so yes, you are gaining on him. Excellent. <laughs> Edward, Edward yells off the, off the starboard side of the ship that's now pointed in their direction. Mm-hmm. Goldie! Burb looks over I wouldn't at... move if I were you. Burb, Burb looks at Edward. Dingy actually slowly begin to turn around towards Wiley and the ship. Oh. And he begins to row. Towards us? Mm-hmm. I mean, he knows we're all there. You know, if he tries to go now, he's going to die. Wiley's swimming, thinking in his head, I've intimidated him. <laughs> <laughs> Wiley, after a moment, a hand reaches out off the side of the boat towards you in the water. Is he trying to help me? Does it appear he's trying to help me out? You want to ride back to the ship? 
Wiley grabs his hand without saying anything and a untrusting look on his face and I guess gets on the dinghy. Mm -hmm. Pulls out his flintlock, whether or not it would work because it's soaking wet. <laughs> wet we'll, we'll, powder. I'll let you decide yeah. that, but he definitely Wiley doesn't care. He certainly pulls it out and points it at him. He just looks that like would be great. Starts rowing towards the ship. Well, you caught me, Captain. Well done. Technically, it was Burb who got him. Yeah, but Burb's not the one yelling. You're under my... the water you're... at him. Yeah. So... Burb's not gonna. Yeah. Burb's not the one bragging yeah. about it. Burb's you're under my never gonna command. You know, I take yeah. all credit for my crewmates. So yeah. I... Burb won't care if you <laughs> take credit, so. Yeah, it's like. Goldie. This all could have been avoided. Can I shoot a cannon at him? No. <laughs> Wiley's on the boat too. <laughs> Precisely. Can I shoot a cannon at him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the reason for the question. <laughs> <laughs> the Is question gonna, like, stands. Ask no. for the truth one more stand time. Stand down, then... Alexander. Stand down. Is Edward gonna yes, ask Captain. for the truth one more time and see if he actually answers truthfully or? Has he given him too many chances? He definitely did. Just you know, you make it hard to make a choice, Goldie. You're making it really hard on me. Are we back on the deck at this point, or are we still in the dinghy? Um, and still and Edward's yelling this. this. I'm just yelling out this over the sea. <laughs> You're right, Captain. You're completely right. What were you thinking, Goldie? Thought I might be able to get away. Not when Burb's on the watch. <laughs> but you're all Goldie, if you far too clever. Goldie, if you wanted to desert, we would have left you on the next island. The uh, dinghy thunks against the side of the ship. I'm not a cruel man. Not by any means. He begins climbing up the side of it. Well, Defe he's got an eye on him. Defeated look on his face. Got gun, gun got got. Guys, uh, do we, are you gonna make us go through the logistics or can we just say that we've gotten the dinghy back up and fashioned yeah. in place with some new rope? Sure. Imagine some of the, the crew mm -hmm. members that aren't named. He reaches his hand out to you, Wiley, to help you over the edge of the boat. I take it and get on the boat, and I say, So, Goldie, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you do it? How'd you get out? Now, the real question is, how am I about to do it? And he attempts to twist your arm behind your back and take you as a hostage. <laughs> oh. Can I get Try a strength check from you? Yeah. Ben's about to get taken as a hostage. Joke's on you. We'll hit. We'll hit Wiley with no remorse. Do you think they care? <laughs> you oh. think we care? I was gonna jump down and defend Wiley for once. Oh, no. Only I can pick on Wiley. It did a private I... roll, but you managed to beat his strength check. Can I <laughs> override my roll? Mm -hmm. And can we just say I fail just to see how this pans out? Because I think it's going to be better. Absolutely. Can we do that? <laughs> oh, gosh. He grabs you again, and this time you don't resist. You, you just don't resist. You just don't do it. You're like, whoa. Not me off guard. I didn't think he was going to do it a second time. What? What did he do? My <laughs> He pulls out a dagger and just, like, slices it across, um, like, his belt or something. And then, like, holds it up behind um, Wiley's neck. All right, now, what was this about doing it to the hard way, you said? Edward visibly sighs. <laughs> Can I jump down there? Yep. Are they on the dinghy? Or I thought, I thought they're they were right on over the, the edge of the boat now, yeah. They're on the... Yeah. <laughs> if you look at... He's a sissy, he won't do it. If if you look at Burb, you can see the, like, she's got, like, a She's got, like, her eyes are, like, sparkling. They don't, like, please do it. Please. <laughs> yeah. Please I want to jump down and 
do something. <laughs> Not exactly. What do you sure want to do? <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> hmm. I'm trying to think of something fun. All right. Is he uh, behind Wiley? Yes. So, okay. If I jump, he's down, up against where the uh, side of the boat. Holding Wiley's arm with yes. one hand, dagger with another hand. So if I jump down, can I jump behind him? No, he's up against. So the I have guy. to jump in front of Wiley. True. Where are you jumping to from? The side. The side of the boat. <laughs> I don't know. Into the dinghy. Oh no, we're like up, we're up, the up on the yeah, they're, they're on. Point. They're on the ship. Oh, he was like, yes. he oh, was yeah, grabbing my ship. hand to help me get back onto the deck when this mm -hmm. happened. So, oh, yeah. I missed that part. Um, mm -hmm. so where am I standing? Probably, Probably on deck. Close to the helm. On the deck or something. Yeah, on the deck. 10, 15 Can't feet understand. away from them. Don't let him get in your head, Captain. He won't do it. I don't think he's got the salt. I'm just I think gonna get out my gun and point it <laughs> at the dude. So, I suppose, Captain, now might be a good time to negotiate. Permission to shoot him? Stand down, Alexander. And I think Permission that's a nice time to, to uh, cliffhanger the session. <laughs> Boom. I'm not even an Oh, I had such yet. a good idea at that moment, too, Zylo. I had such a good idea. Uh, <laughs> It'll still have to be save a good it. idea next episode. <laughs> I'm going to have to save it. I know. Yep. Go through your ideas, what'll be fun. We oh, got no. Wiley held hostage to a man with a knife. Who seems to have a you know, at least a skill for escaping. So mm -hmm. I might have used that in slightly incorrectly Zarif. I see Zarif was like the salt. I think more commonly the phrase is like whether someone is worth their salt. That is like yeah. a common phrase. I don't think he has the salt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Herb is just like, if anything happens, it's a win win. I think, I think the term you're looking for, <laughs> Wiley's grit, or like, I don't think he has his grit, or uh, the steel. Uh, Herb's honestly seeing this as a win win. If if Wiley dies, you know, good on him. If if just wow, I know Wiley annoys Burb, but does she? Does she well, physically she want him dead? <laughs> yeah, she can easily. Is it that him. bad? <laughs> you can easily heal him, so she's not too worried, but if he gets a little injured, she's not worried about it. She doesn't care. Pop his, his head off. <laughs> I guess from just with this knife, just clean decapitation. Maybe he'll learn a if, lesson if he, from this and be less him. annoying. <laughs> yeah. She's not, like, super worried because she knows she can heal him, but if if he gets straight up decapitated, then she's like, well, it's well, sucks to be him, I guess. I rolled really well there to to, to yeah, true. But but I couldn't resist the uh, the uh, this. It was I, it's such a great it's such a good outcome right there. Mm -hmm. or just yeah, like that. that's such a good. Like, I will say this man beat. was rolling twenty twenty twos in his stealth checks, and Burb was just like, I see you over there. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I'm watching uh, you God. do all of this. Yep. That crazy bird perception. Herb is just too good at seeing. Mm -hmm. She's got that right. good bird eye, so you know. Very nice. If he like took Dave hostage, oh, she'd be murdering him already. Oh. He'd be dead. He'd it's be just gone. Wiley, so not big deal really. Yeah, it's, it's only Wiley. Wiley. It's, he's not like she's not like overly, you know. I love how. <laughs> I, I'm really glad the food that Alexander made was really good and Wiley had to begrudgingly admit it. Yeah. I yeah, love those yes, kind of character okay. moments. It works because Zylo's a good cook and Alexander's based off of him, so it'd be Aww. kind of, you know, out of character if he was a bad cook. I wonder if I could make pizza on a pirate ship. <laughs> Listen, I realize we're I, probably I not as good as we described not... it, but... I wouldn't We've think made you, homemade you pizza together. It's true. Like you say that, Zyla, like you wouldn't attempt to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess I would. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, that is a uh, a situation the crew is in now. So, we'll see what this this man's been doing, and if Wiley survives, because you know, whatever. Where's Prosciutto? Oh, no. Where is Prosciutto? Prosciutto just tackles him off the boat. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's a boy. I will say, Burb did fail one perception check. So, when this man was doing yeah, some other stuff earlier. So, either way, good fun. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show today. Scar VCs, we back. I think we should be able to have another one next week. I do whatever the excursions okay. planned. Excursion. Um, come watch me uh, finish Subnautica Below Zero tomorrow. I've been playing Hi. that recently. I've been loving it. I love the first game. I've been having lots of fun with the new one. Frustrating. I've been frustrating and raging a little bit, but it's good. And we're almost done. I'm definitely uh, beating it tomorrow, so come watch me do that. Nice. And I just got off of beating uh, Resident Evil Village today. If I standard, standard wasn't difficult. on a budget, I would have gotten that game. I still might get it eventually. I just didn't get to get it when it came I'm really out. really thinking about new... trying to play through it again on like the hardest, hardest difficulty, like the Village of Shadows. I've difficulty. heard really good things about it. Oh, it's 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 terrific. I've heard story it wise, it's really good and like it's really compelling. Characters There's a lot of playability too, because you got unlockables from different achievements you can do, and then like you can get like guns with unlimited ammo and just go through and play through the game. It's fun. It's some good fun. Mhm. Mm Very nice. I can't believe we had two wholesome verb moments this session. One wholesome, wholesome and wily moment. moment. One wholesome mm. moment. Which backfired on him. This oh, is yeah. why Wiley <laughs> wholesome. Abused your trust. Mm -hmm. We had yeah. intimidating Edward moment. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, Captain I Edward love, moments. I, I love how Burb's first thought process when seeing somebody trying to escape the ship is fling them across. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> she doesn't even give him time to explain. She just does. Mm -hmm. I will also say, I'll, uh, just so chat knows a little behind the scenes. Kaylee hates me in real life, so she doesn't no! even really have to role play. This is how oh, um, no! I'm just you kidding. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm totally no, just kidding. <laughs> Kaylee's really nice to me. She goes by the stream. She uh, yeah, which I'm I'm just joking. Um, I hate him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, it's on Kayla. the other hand, she tells me about it all the time. I literally, oh. I was talking to Zylo when he was here. I was like, I want to meet Mev so bad so I can just bully him in person. Imagine how great that She did be. say that, yeah. I literally yeah. did. I think you've told me that before. I believe it's no secret that that is one know, of your bucket but I list. <laughs> and I was just saying, I don't know. I mean, it's not really any different. Yeah, just kind of me. I'm really a gosling <laughs> over here, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that was a fun session. Yep, yep, yep. Wily got kidnapped, bug. So I would say tune in for all our other lovely dice and fire shows this week. Uh, Do we know if they're happening. They're not. They're really not. So. <laughs> <laughs> the next one realistically is probably going to be this again next week if it happens. Yeah. Mario's going out of town right, for like a week. Yep. We left it on a great cliffhanger, yeah. so mm -hmm. for people to look forward to. Exactly. So watch as this man solo kills the entire crew of your favorite pirates. Mm -hmm. I hope so. That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> and that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, savvy? Is that a thing? <laughs> It's a thing, yeah. right? Uh, savvy? That's, I think that's how Jack Sparrow says it. Yep, nailed it. Yep. Yeah. Right inflection and everything. Anyone have anything else to shout out? Go watch everybody's Origins of Olympus stuff. Origins and check out the next... My new FNAF series! That's I nice. did see you were, you were uploading a new FNAF series. FNAF uh, School, I believe? Or? FNAF High School. When I tell you I've had that idea for, like... What's it about? Years. And I'm Who are finally you doing it. <laughs> what um, is your character? I, I play Mangle. 
Maybe. And it's about animatronics going to high school, but there's like a whole mystery at the same time. And Alexander mm-hmm. plays Golden Freddy, who's no, the I don't. principal. I don't. She's lying. And he's in tomorrow's I'm... video. Oh, you recorded it right like in that. early oh, this morning cute. with me. And he's in it. And he That's yells cute. at me in it, so well. it's even Aww. more of a reason to go watch no. it. The, just wait until you see what character I play. You'll be surprised. Mm-hmm. Devin's, Devin is my favorite character in the whole thing. <laughs> Me too. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah, sure he's all right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys heard it all here. Check all that stuff out. Tune in Ooh. next week for more Scurvy Seas. And we will see you next time. Bye. Yarr. Yarr. Yarr.